Hello, hello. It's time for more Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. And luckily I stopped right where I needed to be last time. So I kind of forgot where I needed to go. Before I go there, I want to stock up. See, because we, we have nothing. We've got plenty of ants on a log. Let's get just a bunch of these. And then one more of these. And we're good. Okay, now we're ready for whatever's ahead. If I remember right, uh, oh, the receptionist isn't here now. If I remember right, the last thing that happened was we heard that buck was flying around this place. Yo, kid, that's far enough. Johnny Knives? It's been ages. What's the matter, kid? Surprised to see me? Tetsuya Kawaii may make crappy toys, but they've got a killer eye for security. Quit bragging, Johnny. Our win-loss record with the kid is pretty bleak. Hey, Jimmy, it's me, Big Enormous. I did it, man. I lost the weight. I'd prefer if you called me Big Norman now. It just helps me focus on more on who I really am instead of who others want me to be. Oh, good for you. Norman, Johnny, Dee Dee. Oh, man, you, you look so great. Gotta get back into the Punch Tanaka voice. Boss, we thought your brain was broken. We didn't think you'd remember us. We didn't... Oh, man, I promised myself I wouldn't cry no more. We've been working on ourselves, boss. Trying to be the best people we can be. I used to think that the number I saw on the scale was all I was. Through meditation and the power of positive thinking, I learned that I could finally just be who I really am. And the weight, it came right off. Diet and exercise, that's the only secret. When I was training in Sacred Lantern, I had a lot of time to think. Maybe, just maybe, the kid beat me because he was stronger than me. And that's okay. I only had myself to blame. The kid's stronger, what should I do? Stronger myself. I got over my pride and learned some real martial arts. I'm not some know-nothing punk anymore. Most of all, I learned how to harness the anger I felt inside. Instead of letting it control me, I control it. Now I'm unstoppable. And me? I learned that knives are stupid. What's the point in putting all your self-worth into something that can be taken so easily? That's why you shouldn't call me Johnny Knives no more. Call me Johnny Katana. Oh, sh shit, that's kind of cool. One, the Katana is the perfect blade. My skill with it is absolute. Two, Johnny Katana is an awesome name. So cool. And that almost rivals Punch Tanaka. Man, so good to see you guys again. You've all gotten so much cooler. If we were back in the old days, we'd really rough up some stuff. To say the word, boss, I'm gonna stitch this joint and reform the petty thugs. We'd have to get a new batch of goons, but we'd put them in line real quick. Johnny, my man, that sounds like music to my soul, but I gotta stay with the kid for now. What? Ain't we good enough, boss? Listen to me, Johnny, and listen good. You were always good enough. Even when you were a weak little baby, you were good enough. Why? Because you're my friend. You're all my friends. Boss. Don't dis so this ain't about who's good enough to hang out with Punch Tanaka. I just owe the kid. That's all. And Punch Tanaka always pays his debts. We know, boss. We know. Well, whatever. I'm not going to get all teary-eyed over crap like this. Where are you going, Dee Dee? We're still on security detail. Think I care about this job? This place sucks and Mr. Makura doesn't pay us anything worth a crap. So what if we let this kid go by? Not like it's any of my concern. Well, I guess that's it for now. 
Good to see you again, boss. You too, kid. You look good. Like, you're really giving a good fight. Keep at it. I'm sure we'll meet again. Boss man, I'm gonna miss you. But you've got your own life to live. I get that. I do too. You lucked out, kid. We're so tough now. You got no idea. Maybe one day we can have a rematch. You know, just for fun. Man, just the sight of us made them want to quit their job. I don't know how to feel about that or what that means about me. Kid, I got this feeling welling up inside of me. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like sunshine. I think it's pride. You better move on before my sunglasses can no longer hide my tears. But he's man enough to admit that he was crying. To me, it's the button for the top floor. The elevator stopped early. Oh, sinister. What? What? <laughs> I didn't even get to fully see what that said. I just panicked when it said press Z. So cold in here. Like they keep breathing, keep the thermostat below freezing. I can see my breath. There's something unsettling about the atmosphere. I feel a dark presence enveloping the building. Are you able to detect stuff like that? I have fought shadow warriors all over the galaxy. They transmit energy waves at a certain frequency that my moon crystal can detect. Over time, I've learned to feel these even without my moon crystal. It's like there's a disturbance in the air. Oh, so is the temperature drop a sign of evil forces? No, I think their AC might just be broken. Oh, I thought I was gaining superpowers. Anyway, we need to be careful. The energy I'm feeling isn't like the Shadow Warriors, and it's not exactly like the Principal either. It's definitely strong though, and hostile. Is it Buck? Is it my boy? Please insert currency and make selection. I don't have any currency. The employee is snoring loudly. There's a security card sticking out from his front shirt pocket. You want to take it? Yes, please. It's a level one pass. This is a bad idea, but... Oh, I can't shake him. Never mind, then. Let's see, do I have... I can bust on everything. I should start training up some of the other forms, because I think is Ghost fully is it is it fully leveled up now? No, it's still got a little more. But let's see, what do I want to level up? Being able to have toxic sludge on everything would be huge, because then I wouldn't have to waste a turn getting over to the revolting blob, but that's level 40. So much. Uh, getting comforting smile would be pretty good. Black fountain would also be really good. All right, I think we go flower. Try and get that leveled up enough that I can get comforting smile in the meantime. What enemies do we have? Number one mascot, Robo-Chan, and Yes Man. Are you like crawling out of a hole or are you just very flat? I can't tell. Probably won't do too many fights, actually. Nothing. Nothing in the toilets. Oh, God. 
Punch is gonna die. Oh, never mind. Punch is fine. Nothing in here, it seems. Can we just go back in the elevator? Oh god. I don't know which floor we're on now. Let's go to 88. Hello, I am one of the Yang siblings. The handsome one. I don't know how I got my nickname. I guess it just sort of came naturally. <laughs> I've been working on something top secret, but you'll never find out what it is. Why? I forgot my passcode. I got level 3 access too. I'd be worried about losing my promotion, but it's easy to get ahead when you're as handsome as this. <laughs> Trying to shake the code out of me, eh? Well, shake all you want. I can't remember a single number. Dang, he's telling the truth. Right, Lars can't steal anymore. Hello, I am one of the Yang siblings, the bald one. I don't think it's fair that I have to be the bald one. I still have lots of hair. It's just thinning. When I was a kid, I used to have long and luxurious hair. Uh, my hair is thinning. My siblings make fun of me. Even Diligent Yang makes fun of me. And he's fat and lazy. If I could choose my name, I would be called Nice Yang. Because I get to help people out. My god, I get to help people out. And I don't like seeing people get hurt. Maybe it's because of how much it hurts when people call me bald. Anyways, thanks for taking the time to listen to me complain. Nobody ever listens to me. Now that we're friends, why don't you check out some of the top secret stuff I've been working on. I only have level 2 clearance, but my passcode is 32790. Getting out the notebook just in case. Three, two, seven, nine, zero. Got it. He seems nice. Let's go to... Is it 86 where we started? It was. But I just want to test something. Because I don't remember how this works. Is this just... It just refills our stuff? Nice. Okay, so we're, we're good then. No reason for us to use consumables. Because we're making enough to get both of those pretty much just through one fight. Okay, let's go to 87. Can I, not, can I not input? I have level 2 access. Or I have the code for level 2 access. Oh, maybe you open the doors from somewhere else. 88 is just where I just was. Chat time. Press Z. I know we're supposed to be in a serious situation, but I can't help but feel a little excited. Tsuya Kawaii makes some of the most adorable figurines. I didn't think a Moon Warrior would be interested in stuff like that. Well, I've only been on Earth for a little while, but it's not like I was fighting Shadow Warriors all the time. I started watching the Tetsuya Kawaii Saturday morning cartoon show and, well, I got kind of addicted. Really? I love that show. Got a shelf dedicated to Tetsuya Kawaii collectibles. I've even got the 88 Summer Olympics Special Edition Garo, still mint in box. Whoa, Uncle Kid, isn't that a children's show? 
A lot of you know that Tetsuya Kawaii is one of the longest running shows in Japan. Although it has an aesthetic that appeals to children, the underlying themes can still be enjoyed by adults. Don't get me started on the deep, rich lore that has developed over the decades of storytelling. You tell him, Lars. Alright, sure, whatever. I'm just saying, you're supposed to be a grown man. And I'm just saying that timeless storytelling transcends all ages. Oh, Lars, you're so cool. What kind of bizarre world did I walk into? Are you a level two pass? Do we find cell? What are you supposed to be? Nope, can't run into it. Oh, what does Jimmy think about this place? Hmm. Did Jimmy think something else we got here? That's odd. Apparently the only time Jimmy ever just thinks nothing, it's just an ellipses, is during the nightmare places. And I don't think this is a nightmare place. Maybe there's something about it that's scaring him as if it was one. Or maybe he's just scared to see Buck again. Please input five digit code. It's three, two, seven, nine, zero. Easy. There's a Van de Graaff generator. Tell me all about that. Touching this makes your hair stand up. Normal attack recharges 20% MP. Can't counter. Oh my god. God, that'd be so good on Jimmy. Also, it'd be really good on Hitomi, maybe. Or maybe Lars? Lars does have Rejuvenate. And honestly, his attack isn't that amazing. I could give it to Lars. That would be something that's really good for, like, Helga later on. Because 20% is a huge deal. Oh, but that would take away his buckler. Okay, I see. Alright, this is really good for someone else. So I wouldn't want to take it away from Hitomi. Yeah, that would also greatly lower her magic attack, which would pretty much make it useless. If we don't have any of these. Uh, where were we? No, I didn't meet it. Who is this beautiful man? Now we'll do a fight, why not? I should remember her abilities, it's been a bit. Oh, you can just do every kind of counter, can't you? Oh, you suck. Mm -hmm. 
Do I even have an alarm clock? I do. Oh, that sucks. Just a room with nothing. Nothing but you, whatever you are. So hungry. Me too. It feels like we've been in here forever. I could really go for some ramen right about now. Oh my god, you like ramen too? Of course, ramen is the best. I love miso and it's best with an egg in it. You are the perfect woman. What's that? I'm sorry, I meant to just think that. Um, think what? We should have we should get some ramen later. That sounds great. Can we not be weird for a minute? Oh. Oh! It's a child! You aren't supposed to be here, little boy. It's dangerous. There's a monster living on the roof, you know. I didn't want him to be here, but it's out of my control. I had to send everyone home. Well, everyone except the Yang siblings. They don't listen to me. Nobody listens to me. I just want to make toys for children like you. That's what Tetsuya Kawaii used to be about. I even developed our bio lab so that I could make new adorable creatures that everyone could love. That didn't work out right. Now research and development are doing all sorts of stuff without my permission. I guess the board doesn't trust my judgment. It's nice to see a child again. I'm surrounded by a bunch of stuffy adults. When I was a kid, I used to imagine wonderful new friends and I would draw them. And it was like they were real. Now kids everywhere get to play with my friends too. Guess things aren't so bad for me. Thanks again for listening. Here's a little something. Oh, thank you. You should use that to find a way out of the building. It's on lockdown now because of the monster. I'd give you a level 4 pass, but the board won't give me one. You'd still be able to find your way around well enough with that one. Thanks again for listening. I have the pass, but I don't have the code that I want. Oh. Can I heat this up? No. It's not that easy. Get him out of here. Lars, how did you get so strong? Huh? You are so strong and dependable in combat. You have any secret training practices? Oh, well, um, not really. I guess I just watch a lot of 70s martial arts flicks. Oh, Lars, you're so funny. It's okay if you don't want to reveal your training secrets to me. What about you, Hitomi? You're always way, or you're way stronger than me. I don't know about that. I just went through pretty standard training for Moon Warriors. You know, mixed martial arts, gymnastics, harnessing the power of love into a destructive laser. The usual stuff. Sounds pretty intense. Not really. The only real challenge was when I had to battle a Moonworm during my graduation exam. Moonworms, huh? No big deal. You have also battled a Moonworm? Oh yeah, tons of them. That's odd. The moonworm only hatches once every 15 years. What? I mean, yeah, that's totally odd. I'm no detective, so don't expect me to crack that mystery. The important thing is that I definitely killed some moon bugs. Moonworms. Whatever. I believe him. I believe that punch Tanaka could take out a moonworm in a single punch. Okay. 
Still nothing in the bathrooms. But I gotta check. There's something I can do with this. I didn't mean to do that. I just kind of forgot what the blob did and I wanted to try it. Oh! That worked! I'll take it. But then that- oh! It fixed this. Now I don't have to go all the way back down. Everyone, I can feel a malevolent presence beyond this door. Must be Buck. You told me, be careful. My nephew can really pack a punch. Lars, I know he's your nephew, but if he comes at you with harmful intent, I... I won't hesitate. You told me. Alright, let's not do that yet. Six? No, I think it was the next floor up. Oh, this is the other brother. Oh, okay. I don't know how he didn't put that together. It's not 88, is it? It is, okay. Although I'm one of the Yang siblings, the handsome one. I don't know how I got my game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yada, yada. What if I spook it out of you? shake the other one? I didn't. I didn't shake this one or the boss man. thought you were different, but you're just like everyone else. You're going to make fun of my thinning hair now, aren't you? Gonna find the code in the recycling. This works. Maybe. Oh no. Not that easy. Is this something? God, I'm a genius. It's a wave cannon. That sounds very anime. That sounds like a Hitomi thing. What type gun that operates using physics and stuff? Normal attacks hit all enemies. Oh, that's so nice. Is that good for punch? Oh, that is good for punch. I just don't have level 4 access. Well, I think we're good. 
Give me one second here. Put my notepad away. Hey Buck, how you doing? Hmm. Look at you. You're scrawny you scrawny little puke. Am I supposed to be impressed? Guess you're going to defeat me and then defeat the pulsating mass. That's not going to happen. You think the pulsating mass is evil? Sure, maybe. The way I see it it's just power. And when I felt that power trying to wrap itself around my brain. I didn't just roll over like you. I wrestled it to the ground. I harnessed it. I... I befriended it. I cherished it. It became a part of me. When it speaks, I listen. Shut up. You really piss me off, Jimmy. Everyone treats you like you're special, but you're not even strong enough to protect yourself. I'm going to prove it. Right now. I don't want to do this to you, Buck. And I wish that I had started as a blob. But I'll just have to live with this mistake. his teeth and his body shakes. Jimmy's heartbroken. That's a new one. Oh, Jimmy and Lars are heartbroken. They can't do anything. Because Buck is family. But he's not family to Hitomi, so she can still kill. Or to Punch, so Punch can also still kill. We shake down? Nah. go back just yet. Let's do a high five to Lars just to keep him up. Lars can rejuvenate everyone. He's not weak to it so he's not undead. Let's go to our boy. So it's just seeing him in pain makes so Lars and Jimmy just can't do anything. Makes sense. Buck takes flight. Okay, oh my god, that crit. Massive. So I assume, like, with the, uh... God, what was the name of that boss? Grimclaw, I think? So, like, with Grimclaw, I can only do magic now. That's physical. That's magic, though. We'll use that. 
Punch, you don't have anything, so maybe you just guard for the moment. Punch, you just you just chill out till we need you. No, I guess I haven't checked if physical actually does something. I assume it doesn't. I'll test it. Made in time for the actual best battle theme of the game. It's pretty good. Oh, you're just evading everything now. Not a fan of that. Buckskin writhes and pulsates. Everyone else is missing except for Jimmy. I don't know if that's coincidence or I'm just not realizing something. But also Buck isn't attacking. Which is pretty concerning. flower for a minute just to keep everyone up. Okay. And he's back. have Jimmy focus on healing for the moment. This punch can actually fight again now. Oh, good god. Uh, you know what? I think we're safe to switch back over. Lars can just heal himself. You know what, Lars, eat eat some celery. is out of MP, but I think we're good. Well, Hitomi is. Punch just didn't have anything to do. counter. 
Yeah, we got this easily. Lara's taking all the damage like a champ. Jimmy, it's time to give up. You have no chance. You never had a chance. I said shut up. Don't think you're stronger than me. I went easy on you because you're my little brother. Next time will be different. You better get stronger. Way stronger. You better not make mom cry. What do you mean by that? Well, I don't know what's up with Buck, but he seems even angrier than usual. Your brother is very strong, Jimmy. You should be proud. Anyway, me and Hitomi have been talking things over, and we've decided we're going to get married. When did you decide this? And also, what? Oh, you work fast, Uncle Kid. It's just that we have so much in common. I never thought I would meet the woman of my dreams, but here she is. Hitomi, you're smart, strong, and the most beautiful girl in the galaxy. I like how you love video games, anime, and collectibles. I feel like I can spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, Lars. So anyway, that's why Hitomi and I are in love. Now we're going to get married and live on the moon. Oh, just gonna take a ladder there. If I, Jimmy just imagines a relationship goes like this. Yeah. It, this That sounds about right. Lars, you're really leaving me? In my time of need? Well, Jimbo, I guess this is goodbye. I know you want me to stay, and part of me wants to stay too, but this is the first time I've had an opportunity like this, and I know I should take it. Goodbye, Jimmy. I wish you great fortune on your adventure. Always remember the saying of my people. Fighting love power. Bye, Jimbo. Thanks for always being my friend. Poppy climbed that real fast. He's, he's just gone. I'm, I'm gonna miss him. Got a weird family, kid. Buck, are you done yet? Mama! Oh, hello, Jimmy. I guess Buck left again. That boy. He's really been a handful ever since he turned into a monster. Well, monster or not, he's still your brother, so he needs to treat you better. Next time we see him, I'll make sure to give him a talking to. Anyway, it's good to see you, honey. And I see that Mr. Tanaka is here as well. Whoa, mama kid. Looking good. Punch, don't even think about it. Mr. Tanaka, I am a married woman. Speaking of your father, is he okay? The last time I saw him, he was jumping off a very tall place despite his severe allergy to heights. Don't worry about it, mama kid. Papa Kid is being a total square back in Shinryu. That sounds like my honey bear. Well, let's go back and give him a little visit then. There's an elevator in my room that will take us back to the lobby. Lars and Hitomi's equipment has been removed. Dang. They're really gone. Fly high, Lars. Fly high. Oh, there's so much. That I can't interact with. I want to open these. Oh. Wait, does that mean we have fourth level security passes now? I don't think that's what that means. Jimmy, what do you think now? Still nothing. Dang.
We're suddenly making footfalls. Okay, I thought something bad was about to happen. Yeah, Johnny Katana's just living his best life. Proud of him. Bob, not in front of me. Ahem, now that I'm no longer being held captive by the passionate lips of my love bug, let's review what I've discovered. The secret knowledge is still badly damaged. I was only able to glean some information from it, and even then I'm only seeing bits and pieces. It's hardly enough to form coherent instructions. However, I've learned two things. First, the secret knowledge is more than just a book. It's a weapon. The book itself has the power to destroy the pulsating mass. How we utilize that power, though, I'm afraid I can't say. However, the second piece of information could be a clue. We must take the book to Central Hub. It's said that Central Hub is the nerve center for the entire world. The secret knowledge must be used there, somehow, to protect the world from the pulsating mass. However, we must get there before the pulsating mass. If the pulsating mass gets to Central Hub before us, then all is lost. You, the world, everything will be eradicated. Heavy. Well, it sounds like we better hurry up then. Where is Central Hub anyway? There's an old abandoned subway near here. We should be able to follow it to Central Hub. Whoa, Papa Kid, I've got bad news, man. You see, I haven't mentioned it, but Shinryu is my neck of the woods. I guess I'd like to keep a cool keep a cool air of mystery around myself at all times. But before the petty thugs moved out to the sticks, we ran things around here. That subway, well Well that's the first time we met it. It was just a dog back then, you remember. It appeared in my nightmares for weeks, telling me it was coming, telling me to go after the kid. Then one day, it crawled out of a hole in the ground. It scared me half to death. That's when it forced us to be its henchmen. Anyway, if that's where the pulsating mass came from, then Central Hub might already be toast. Hmm. That's worrisome indeed. But we have no choice. Our only option is to proceed. Jimmy, you're going to have to be brave a little longer. Don't worry, honey. Your father and I are going to be right there with you. Nice, the gang's all here. Alright, let's give them their equipment back. Alright, I want you to have this. That you constantly have MP. We never have to worry about that. Anything else good for you? Ah, you got Vesta. Ooh, buck not buck. Lars did leave behind his buckler. That could be good, but the MP is just way better. Black mirror. Magic defense. What else? We just want a bunch of magic defense? That could be good. Like we want something with physical defense too, but that's just not an option. Agility. We do want you to be fast. Why not? Manual, you can have Sunny Day and Rejuvenate. 
Then we can set up regen as well. Andrew, you've already got your best thing, right? No, you don't. Advanced Calculus. There we go. Investments. Makes defense sound a good bit. I don't know. Yeah, it takes magic attack up by 10, but also lowers defense by like 13. I think we'll we'll stay away from that for now. Thermal bomb, because you just absolutely need that. And the pulverizing light. I need to check. I did buy. Yeah, I bought three of these. Good, good, good. on a log, refill on those, and then buy one more of these. Yeah, that should be good. Let me just make sure everyone's got what they want. Oh my god, look at that magic attack on Jimmy. It's beautiful. Oh, and I could make it even more. Defense going down by 5, match defense going down by 6, and then magic attack going up by another 30. Not 30, 40. Oh, very tempting. I'm gonna go for it. So now I could... Uh, what was here? Was this anything yet? No, I need like a ton of money before I go in there. That's right. Now it's just the subway, and I think that's it. We can't go over there yet. Once you advance from here, it's very hard to get to a clubhouse again, if that matters. That's kind of what I was figuring. Because I was thinking I want to go back and try the Mr. Cat fight again. I want to give the Mr. Cat fight and the uh, the toy box fight. Oh wait, I can't do the toy box now, can I? His mom's here. Or can I still do that? I can? Okay, cool. Oh, I was so worried because I already saved over that. Well, I want to try the Mr. Cat fight again. Now that we've got, like, the best of the best here. I know you go down there, but... That feels like it's something down there. But also, it could just be decoration.
find out before we go in. Let's see. That takes everything down by like one. What does the other one do? Makes me lose all my magic attack. I'll trade the, the keepsake for inhaler so we don't fall asleep. Punch. It's just for luck, right? That's just luck. Olga doesn't need one. Cool. Alright, let's give it another shot. Do it. I want to start as a blob, just to make sure. Because I think we can make this happen. We've leveled up a few times now. We've got Helga. Nobody can fall asleep. My chances are definitely way better. But it's still going to be really tough. Let's do it. Round like round eight or something. Just put Rejuvenate on everyone. Alright, Pumpkin would do the most damage, but we need Flower around... Oh, I should have switched Combust to Ghost Fire. I need to remember to do that if I lose this again. Because that's just going to be using way more MP for nothing. That's fine. Yeah, it's just completely useless. Alright, I, I gotta remember that for next time. It's all good. Helga, why don't you... Guard. Jimmy can comforting smile. 
Tanaka can just punch. Helga can start healing everyone of their sick. point where Jimmy can do the healing while Helga gets rid of everyone's sickness. Get that back up. Oh, and everyone's sick again. Okay, the rejuvenate should hopefully help to fight off the sick for the moment. Get it off Andrew quickly. He has the least health. Forgot about your just instant kill move. That's fine. something risky. I'm gonna switch over to Blob. Get that extra poison damage. Good because Helga is faster than Mr. Cat. I think she is anyway. Maybe not. God love all the crits. One more until we can go back over. Make sure Andrew can stay up. You just guard, try and stay alive. I 
Okay, Helga is faster. That's really good. Oh, and there she goes. It's fine, because now we can go back over to Flower. Why don't you go ahead and give Super to Jimmy? Punch. Olga can high five herself. Andrew pulsating light. Okay, now he's not going to give us a break anymore. That's fine. I think Jimmy and Helga just have to be fully on healing duty from this point forward. We rejuvenate because she's faster. It's not going to do much, but it'll give us regeneration. We're all faster than Mr. Cat now. Even without the slowdown. Interesting. Oh, you bitch. Oh, he just on sticky. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Helga is still faster. I talk to get Andrew back up. Actually, you know what? Because Helga's gonna be faster. Comforting smile, you mad combo, you pep talk. Oh, nice, he gave us a free turn. Love it. sunny day yet. We gotta save that. Jimmy's gonna work on getting everyone unsick. Mom's gonna keep focusing on healing. If she needs to, she has sunny day. big one. Oh, this might be it. It's 
So we get really lucky. No. No, god damn it. Yeah, two of those tremors and you just can't do anything about it. But it's doable. Forgot to put Ghost Fire on Jimmy again. That's fine. Releases helpful nanobots. I never caught that. As much healing but in that second phase if I stick with blob and just constantly make so that he's always going last we can potentially keep everyone up no matter what it's risky but it might work Why don't we try that strategy now? Let's go ahead and do a sunny day just to get everyone up. And then we'll also be on blob so we can poison them anytime we want to. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and get more MP. Talks 
because this is on there. All right. Nah, not this time, idiot. Do that more. I thought he just didn't do it last time because I'm immune to it. But no, if there's a chance, please do it as many times as you did the first time I tried this. I'd love that. see something. If I use Sticky Flim early, will that just automatically take it back up to five more turns, or will it just keep going down as it normally is? We'll just redo Rejuvenate. Nope. Not this time, idiot. does reset it. Okay. So if I play this right, I can just make sure he's always going last and we always have a chance to recover. Blob was made for this fight. I'll go just get more of your MP back. want to get serious. So now if we need a really big heal, then we know when to do that. Oh, he's going to be going last. We got the Toxic Sludge. And everyone can, like, at the very least, everybody can defend while Helga heals, and we'll all be good. Because we'll get the healing beforehand, and we can just do that for several turns, hopefully. If we're making sure that this is always staying up. I'll just keep Sticky Fleming. Punch just to make sure that Jimmy doesn't run out of that. Go ahead and help him out there. Get Rejuvenate fully back up. He's got to play safe, and this should be fine. Now he's always going last, so I can high-five Helga just to make sure she's staying up. Combo, comforting smile, Toxicosis back on there. Oh no! Okay. Not good. Not good. Toxic Sludge on there. Tanaka. Go ahead and Alarm Clock. Andrew. Anson Log to Helga. That's fine. Helga's coming back up. It's fine. The same thing. Go ahead and use Sunny Day. This is the play. I figured it out. Flimmed. Four turns. I could go to Flower, help heal, and then 
I would still have turns to get back and redo that. Right now, we just have to hope. Andrew, why don't you go ahead and just take one of those? I should have had everyone guard. Oh, I'm an idiot. Punch, why don't you start handing out vitamins to everyone? Back to Andrew, you do that too. Oh, you piece of garbage. Next turn we can go back and we can do that again. Yeah, this comforting smile. Tanaka, go ahead and heal up Jimmy if you can. We'll get a comforting smile. Andrew, put Toxicosis back on there. Oh my god, fuck off. Go back to Blob. God, now you're just spamming this. Spam the sleep thing again like you loved doing last time. Please. Okay, Sticky Flammed. I can't go back over to Flower to help with healing. That's fine. Can't do another sunny day yet, so we'll just do that and hope for the best. Honestly, I think... Never mind. I think Punch and Andrew just guard this turn. clock. I really don't. Because if I use an alarm clock, then Helga would have to waste a turn getting Jimmy back up. We can't afford that. So Punch is just going to have to stay down until I can switch over to Flower. So why don't I Sticky Flim this turn, and then we can make that happen. Let's comforting smile. Keep doing damage. God, fuck you. Actually, go fuck yourself. Hate this boss. Alright. Uh... Flower. Stop that, please. Let me get someone up. Stop!
Hey, thank you. Keep trying to get Andrew up. Wait, did I did I do that right? Yeah, high five. You pep talk. Oh, you're faster now. Fuck off. God damn it. I just threw this whole fight. I, have, I just have the comforting smile and hope. God, fuck you! Oh, fuck off. Like, actually. You're doing everything I need you to not do. Jimmy goes to Blob. Slow him down. Mom is going to preemptively cast Sunny Day. Dad is going to... Fuck, oh, what's that going to do? We already got Toxic Ghost Zone. Dad's just going to... Go for it. Toxic Sludge. Juvenate. Helga needs more MP. My God, thank you. Showing some mercy. People, I'm just to make sure that you stay slow for the rest of this fight. I'm sick of you. You're dying today. Come on, poison damage. Damn it. Slow no matter what. We got a guarantee victory. Jimmy heals. Helga heals. Andrew going for the kill. Easy. Easiest fight of my life. Definitely was not seeing my life flash before my eyes for a while there.
Let's get punched back up. Save, so we never have to do that again. It's slow conversion. It's a pet turtle. And a doctor's bag. Okay, what do all those do? Doctor's bag sounds like your thing. What's it at? Helga only makes heals 50% stronger. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 please. Regenerating MP is so good, but that's so much better. Burts 10% of HP into MP for five turns. It's a very risky one, and I don't know if I like that. So what happened to the mouse? I assume I'm about to find out. Hmm. Oh, we're, we're, we're just back like nothing happened? No. I'm not feeling too talkative right now, Jimmy. I hope you understand. Jimmy, don't blame yourself. You, you did your best. This isn't the first time I've had to deal with this. It'll always hurt, but time will move on. You've got to move on, too. It's difficult. I just... I miss her so much. Please don't bother Timothy about this. If he were to come back here, I don't think I could let him go again. He needs to find himself. This is Cordelia's grave. Jimmy sees a tiny box wrapped in a pink ribbon. I never trusted the fact that we just left her there at the bridge. I knew something bad was going to happen. Well, I kept going back there. Feels very inappropriate, but I have to. Jimmy, I don't think I like that. I might just be a little mouse, so I can't stop you, but I'm not going to let a bully like you intimidate me. Okay, so those didn't change. Jimmy can't wait to see his friends. Ah, that's such a shame. I knew we couldn't trust Mr. Cat. I knew it from the very beginning. Nah, I think I'm good information guy. think about it. This is terrible. Mr. Beaver has disappeared. He's probably begun another construction project, but he's so secretive about this one. 
I haven't gotten any information through my normal gossip rings and eavesdropping. If someone abducted him, I, I wouldn't know what to do. We didn't see anything about Mr. Beaver and Mr. Cat's place, did we? I don't remember seeing anything like that. But he was working there on the bridge. Also, I assume the, the Mr. Cat that we were seeing was not actually Mr. Cat and was instead that thing wearing Mr. Cat's skin. You know, with the whole skinwalker thing kind of going on there in that last section of that dungeon. I imagine that's what happened to Cordelia as well is terrible to think about. We should we should just stick to business. Current balance is two. I'll put some more in there. What's that? My brother is living on the streets now. Oh dear, I was always afraid of this sort of thing happening. He never could hold a steady job. Not marvelous enough, he'd say. Well, that's silly. The secret of being a successful adult is reasonableness. Everyone knows that. I know he never listens, but it's about time I have a talk with my brother. First things first, though. We need to get him off the street. Do you mind taking me to him? Oh, yeah, I guess I can do that. If I remember to. I mean, I can assume that Mr. Beaver just met the same fate as Cordelia did. But maybe I should check the bridge one more time. Another optional dungeon in the garden if you want to peek in there. Okay, I'll check that out in a minute. I guess there's no reason to go back in here. Yeah, and I don't have a thing to exit dungeons. But I guess that can be assumed. So that's what's happened to uh, Mr. Beaver. Unless he's over here. by the garden exactly. You mean like where the graves are? Giant garden near. Oh, okay. I 
items do I have? Hmm. I do also want to try out the, uh, the toy box again. I suppose we can check that out first. Where's my where's my turtle? giant garden. I do not remember. I can just start looking around. I've been the Grim Echoes in a long time. I wonder if there's anything here I missed. Bees? Oh, okay. I see. Like there's anything else here. I can check it more thoroughly later, but we'll go back. Yeah, I had completely forgotten this what this place is called. I want one emergency exit. You know what? Fair enough. Probably just grab a couple. Not even have that. Don't need this. Got like two of those. One more of those. Another one of these. Oh, also I can take off everyone's sleeping thing. But why not? You know what? Take the jacks. Take a look around here, see what we missed. It has been so long since I've been to this place. I don't really remember anything that I missed here if I did.
Can't check that. What does Jimmy think about this place? Jimmy thinks the garden sounds quiet today. They finished that hole. Another light bulb, though. I still don't know what those do. It wasn't a spider cave, was it? Oh, it is the spider cave? Okay. I knew there was something more to this last time I came here. hatching out of these and it looks like it was similar to what was going on with the bees it's like the same goop store now. Oh, no more running. You can get here as soon as you get pumpkin, which uh, don't do that. Fair enough. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh, there they are. Oh, it's just a friend. It's just a swell guy. He just had a big old smile on their face. I'll give this a shot, and if it doesn't pan out, at least I'll have the money to restock up for the uh, the toy box and try that again. Don't grasp Jimmy, I need him. Oh, I recognize these. There's a big version of this in the trailer. What should we done today, anyway? So we got Helga back. 
Yeah, we we got Helga back and we did the uh, the Mr. Cat fight and finished it. Other than that, uh, just this. It's not not too much yet. I'm really hesitant to use like any of my MP. So be it. We might be. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Well, that worked out anyway. I am very lost. Stop! Stop doing did that. I hate to tell you, but that doesn't fit you. Oh my god, really? Everyone is stunned. Everyone's got a fear of spiders. I've noticed. The switch there. How do I get you? I don't have like any abilities that let me hit something far away. I don't think I do anyway. It's a clicking sound. Now, the Jimmy crits are brutal now. Love it. Am I just going back up where I was? That's what it feels like. Yeah, that's where I came from. Yeah, I was, I was thinking Hitomi was going to stay around a little longer. Did not think she was going to leave immediately with Lars and go to the moon. Big plot twist. Perfect storybook ending for Lars. Hopefully he can breathe up there. Yeah, we're spidering. We're also getting very lost. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about that. Maybe I don't need that right now.
Don't do that. I need him. Oh yeah, I, I've been going all in on Jimmy's magic attack. I mean, look at this. 399 when he's the pumpkin. It's beautiful. And all it took was gambling most of my money. Okay, and... Question, am I supposed to be focusing on this switch? And oh my god, you want to know how much of a fucking idiot I am? I saw this, and I was like, that's a floor down. How do I get down there? And not, that's a wall where I can just hit the switch. I, I swear to God. Why am I like this? Okay, now I gotta figure out what that changed. That's fair. It's also just like a rule of the universe that when anyone ever streams, they just become like 20% dumber. It's just guaranteed. Okay, so the switch has been hit. What did Switch do? Okay, I think... Until I figure out where to go... I'm just gonna have to goon for a bit. There, I it wouldn't be that I have to go across the bridge again, would it? For the host again the other day, no problem. I mean, it was only like a few people. You've you've hosted me plenty of times. I appreciate it. You know, just sharing the love. Across the bridge again, would I? No. I might have to go across the bridge again. Because I swear I have seen. He switch brings down a bridge somewhere. Okay, that's what I was starting to think. I didn't know if I was just going crazy or not. I was just missing something. Once I find this next spot that I need to go, I'll switch back over to Pumpkin and actually do the fights. I need the money anyway. do I have? Literally none. Well, now I have some, but earlier I checked my bank and I had two dollars in there. So I, I did find the building where I need, like, what is it, like, a couple hundred thousand in order to get in. So at some point I might grind for that off stream. So I feel like that would just be miserable to watch.
but also I want to do uh, I want to do the arcade a good bit more because there's a couple of things in there I want. I got the main thing I wanted, which was the crayons, but there were a couple other things that looked really good. Am I going backwards? Everything in this cave looks the same. No, this looks new. This looks dangerously new. Hold on. Go back to Pumpkin. We found something. The only problem is I have no idea where I am and Andrew is dead. That's a second problem now. And everyone is afraid. That's a third problem. And Jimmy is grasped. That's a, that's a fourth problem. are brutal. Yeah, guns have been pretty nice. Always a fan of just being able to hit everything ever. Comes in handy. Sources, but I get I guess I have to. Oh, that's pleasant. That's good. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We may be killed here. Easy. Let's get more fights like that, please. This... Is this where I came from? tell anymore. That's good to know, at least. Just gonna keep following the rails.
Thermal Bomb and Combust just destroy everything. It's beautiful. Okay, that's that's not where we're going. I think since I'm running out of resources, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna goon. Cause I'm gonna make it to the end of this and I'm not gonna have anything. And then I'm gonna die and I'm gonna have to get through this again. It's the next room? Okay, cool. very hesitantly. Okay, there we go. I mostly just want to be ready for whatever is in here, which I assume is going to be the giant spider from the trailer. Wait, no, I don't want to be that. I want to be Blob. No, I don't want to be Blob. I want to be Goon. Never mind. Should have seen that coming. Such luscious lips. Alright, well I have no idea how hard this thing hits. But just to play it safe. Uh... No, we can go blob. We can make this work. We'll just sticky phlegm first. Go ahead and rejuvenate just to get that set up. Locks up something gross. God, why does every enemy have to make me sick? Poison it. We can do some mental clarity since it didn't actually hit us. There it is. Oh, and everyone's afraid of it. Honestly, I think whenever I saw the trailer for this game, like, years ago, I think this image is what sold me on the game. See, I keep forgetting to put Ghost Fire on there instead of Combust. So much better for bosses. Okay, well, let's see. I mean, why don't you just high-five yourself? No, that's fine. Uh, I mean, what do I want you to do? I kind of think I want you to stay as a blob and we just use the same strats as we did for the Mr. Cat fight. That worked out really well.
Oh, it does need to be toxic sludged. Yeah, just do that. Comforting smile. And even with the slow, it still goes first. So maybe Blob is not the play. Because it's always going to go first anyway. So you know what? We'll go Pumpkin, and if we need extra healing, then we'll go to Flower. But pumpkin's where we're going to do our most damage with Jimmy. See if we can't just get a mental clarity off on punch. Oh, that's not good. That's terrible, in fact. This is fine. We we can we can still get back from this. With crits like that, we're fine. Let's go ahead and do a sunny day. Okay, only Helga can do anything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have Helga just give herself even more MP. She needs it. A comforting smile for whatever happens next. Need to be toxic. A free turn. Love it. Jimmy, love those crits. Keep doing that, buddy. Go ahead, let's do a rejuvenate. Ooh, immunodeficiency. Oh, I hate that so much. Have any vitamins? I think we gotta go flower. Uh, I think Punch Tanaka just dies here. Honestly. Yeah, Punch will be fine. You as Jonathan get a manual that lets you cure statuses like immune deficiency to the entire party. Oh, neat. It's a shame that I hate Jonathan and I never want to see him ever again. going for it. Helga. It might kill Punch, but it'll heal everyone else. In fact, you know what, Jimmy, we, we don't need to focus on Punch. Uh, do a comforting smile. Just help heal everyone else back up. Punch is going down.
That's fine, we were already slower than you anyway. This might not be great though. Unless he gives us a free turn. Still in the game. He's got to do damage. I've come back for more sods. I can make this happen. Oh, okay. Nah, it's, it's still possible. Wait. Yeah, it's still possible. I can make this happen. Goes just, she's built different. Hmm. Well, that's a waste of a called shot. Was hoping that would go to Jimmy. to think more and more that maybe I don't have this. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's over. Helga's out. Perfectly fine. Maybe I should stop saying words. Like, ever. So I'm just fighting for my life here now. Thank you. 
RPG Maker fucking sucks, and Terminal had to be assembled through shenanigans. It sounds like a lot of this game had to be made in spite of everything that RPG Maker could do. I appreciate the tenacity. I respect it. There is barely a chance that I make it through this, but there is a chance. Let's do... But I have to save my MP, is the big thing. What items do we have? I can still give that to Helga, and that's a few more turns of healing. Did I ever get Rejuvenate off? I didn't. Let's go ahead and do that. Toxic. Mm. Okay, Jimmy can't do anything for a while. That's that's okay. We'll live with it. Guard. We want to save our MP as much as we can. Do everything I can to make sure we have a chance. Jimmy is going to toxic sludge. Punch is gonna punch. Helga rejuvenate again just to keep that up. Toxicosis is still there. And punch is down. Oh, Helga's graft. Oh god. Fine. This is all good. of Jimmy's MP for heals if we can. I'll get preemptively yeah, what's what I have to do? Five turns. Oh you're right. This is the time to use that if we're ever going to. There goes Jimmy. And Helga's grasp. We have to toxicosis. Give ourselves a chance. Get Jimmy back up. Nope, it's over. It's over. Normal status effect quite literally does not do anything. They had to put the status tick up into the fight and then force your party members to use a kill status on themselves once the ability ticks up enough. That... Yeah, that's kind of an insane workaround to make that happen. Enter 
Andrew's too afraid. Andrew's dead. Damn it. Oh, we were so close. Alright, I'm going back just so I have all my things. Okay, so... Big question. What's going to be worse? That or the thing in the toy box? Because if we're getting to a point where it's going to be a long while before I can come back, I want to try at least to get one of those down. the toy box is as hard as you want it to be. Well, I've, I've written notes so it's not as <laughs> difficult as it can be. Okay, take... The toy box was even winnable before. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, it's it's been I I can't even remember what the thing in the toy box was, if I'm being perfectly honest. It it's been a while. Beware if it's shtick, and if not, do you mind if I tell you the toy box? Maybe wait until Oh that's that's what it was. Yes, the the big pile of gold. Uh, if you, if the shtick is the fact that you can steal from it to skip faces, faces, what? Phases. Uh, yeah. I, I figured out how to steal, and then, uh, Tekul told me that that's how you skip phases. It's not? Okay, then maybe, maybe wait until after. So I think that's where I'm going to go next. Well, I mean, if it's, if it's like a spoiler thing... Then don't, but if it's just like a mechanics thing, go for it. I'm gonna go back to Megatropolis so I can get some better stuff. The mechanic of the fight. Okay, well, I, I've already attempted the fight a couple times, so go for it if you want to. We got time. I'm just grabbing items right now. Golden King gets worse the more you steal. You can steal nothing and you will do nothing all fight, but your reward is way worse. Oh. Oh. Okay. My understanding of it was that I was doing that to like skip phases of the fight, not that it was affecting the entire thing overall. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, I do need money. Like, real bad. Like, real bad. And I do have all the notes for, like, how to multiply the money as much as possible. But I think I'm gonna be as greedy as I can. Alright, let's buy three of those. Got five of those. Let's buy one nutrition cube. Four of those. Okay. One more nutrition cube. Seven heals. Uh, rest of those should go to alarm clocks, actually. I need those in case both Jimmy and Helga go down, so I'm not just screwed. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt that. I'm gonna attempt to to steal everything, take them on as he's as strong as possible. I went through the effort of mapping out the whole dungeon to get everything that I can, so I might as well. What 
can I sell? You don't need the travel guide anymore. Don't need the rat sneaker. Check Moonwares, warriors from the threat of the demon. Tommy left her clothes behind? Really? I mean, sell one of these. Let's get three of those. Maybe one more of those. actually. Everyone's equipment. Not what we need. I didn't lose these. Okay, room one, only first chest is good. Okay, room two, same deal, only first is good. I need money bad. Otherwise, I'm never getting into that building. Jesus jab attack. What does he have? Oh, the pulverizing light? It was just big magic damage. Is there something better? Pulverizing light is physical. Oh! Physical holy. Da oh, well, would you look at that? Seems I lack reading comprehension. To the surprise of nobody. All right. Uh, first box is door. Fifth is good. Okay. Two, three, four, and this one. Yeah, I, I, I thought I. I thought I was doing good. And that might... Honestly, that may have been... If I, if I had known that, that might have made the difference because we were so close. Damn it. I need to learn how to read. Alright. Uh, what are we in? Room 4? Okay, room 4. Top left is bad. Bottom left is bad. 
Top right is good. Oh, and middle statue equals door. Can't even read my own notes. Alright. Room 5, second chest only. Uh, right door equals correct, middle is down. You know what? You make a good point, and I could go through the trouble of fighting all of the mimics, but I didn't write down which ones were mimics. And so I really don't want to risk that. I only wrote down which ones were good. There's one. So yeah, my reading troubles are just me getting in character with Jimmy. Definitely on purpose. Oh, that's not cool. doesn't have an instant death move in this game, at least in this portion. I feel like they're everywhere now. Okay, let's see. I want to start as... I want to start as a goon so that we can steal. Sunny Day and Rejuvenate are both really good. I don't want to change those for a stealing technique. Yeah, Jimmy and Punch can take care of all the stealing. They'll be fine. I will save. All right, I'm ready. How bad could it be? Let's go ahead and set up Rejuvenate. Andrew, why don't you just go ahead and set up Focus? Maybe not yet. Next turn. Oh, that's right, you do miasma. Maybe we don't do focus. Unless. Mm, let's go ahead and do a comforting smile just to play it safe. Game is realizing at this point that Helga is wildly overpowered and they just balance it out by making it so you kind of need to pressure her constantly with shit to do. Yeah. Helga became very insane very quickly with how well she could heal. Especially with that item I just got that made her heals even better. Okay, so now... Myself, do I want to go to Blob, Flower, or Pumpkin? I'm going to attempt Blob. Yeah, you definitely get to spam a lot more later on.
And then also I have that item that she can just constantly get her MP back on any turn where she doesn't heal. So she's she's always just good to go. Except I don't have that on her right now. I have it at the ready though. Okay, so Toxic Sludge. Actually, first off, we're gonna Sticky Phlegm just to see if we can make it slower than us. Punch, start going crazy. Helga, just comforting smile right off the bat. Actually, yeah, comforting smile just to play it safe this turn. Toxicosis. Oh, that's... that's not cool. Did I get... okay, I got the slowdown. Reset Rejuvenate. You wouldn't have to justify Andrew having an MP bar with focus because he would never run out without it. Unless you're throwing analysis around in random encounters. Good. Yeah, I legit have not used focus except for that previous fight. And I, I don't think Andrew has ever run out of MP so far. He's gotten close. But it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I, I need to use it more. I just forgot it existed. Okay, we're good. I think we've got this. I think we've got this easily. How they fit the eyeball up inside the statue? It's got like, it's got like squid-like properties, hence all the tentacles. It can just fit in places like that. I'm gonna play at risk. I'm gonna go pumpkin. Get that big damage with Jimmy. We can mana burn, why not? In fact, why don't you do that too, Andrew? That just looks fucking funny. It, he is just a, a silly little guy. He has some acid reflux problems, but he's doing his best. Oh god. Punch will live. You're fine. Oh my god! The biggest crit in the universe. Oh. And J Jimmy is taken down for it. Take this as a lesson. That gambling pays off immensely.
Easy. Yeah, I think I would have tried that more the previous time. I just didn't have Helga. Realizing that smart gamblers cheat by just knowing the exact location of every good card and then decking the dealer. 50, 50,000! Oh my god. That's all going right in the bank. It's a coin purse. Frame butterfly. That's lucky numbers. Ten billion dollars! That's fine. We can make that happen. Where was it? I'll just get coin purse. Enemies give 50% more money, Helga only. Oh, that's so good. Uh, well, we'll find out what Lucky Numbers does. Also, yeah, the 138 gun is great, even though it's completely useless. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that on her, actually. Because why not? She's doing fine. She'll, she'll do fine without her other stuff for the moment. Lars when he doesn't got to be tanking, but that, that he had to have his buckler for even better tanking purposes. Okay, what was the other thing that I got? Lucky numbers. Increases party's luck for three turns once per fight. I mean... Didn't he have a larger buck is preoccupied? Where's the canned laughter button? I don't have one. I need one. Jeez. Lucky numbers could potentially be really good. If I use the boost for... I assume it's for crits. Like, I don't know what else luck could be for. That's why I'm thinking we use... Assuming that's for crits, if we use that and then have Jimmy and his dad both do their boost and then start doing that stuff, that's... That's really good. Luck by default doesn't affect crits in RPG Maker. If we've learned anything, it's the fact that the creator of this game just defied the laws of RPG Maker. So I don't know how much I'd rely on that. That is all going in the bank right away. There's literally a script in the files called Fuck Luck that removes its original purpose from what I can tell. This See? That's what I was saying. Just defies the program he used to make this game. It's kind of hilarious. Alright. So I could... I could try the spider again. Or I could also just make progress. That also sounds good. I think for now I'll just make progress. Haven't done a, a lot of that lately. Plus I need money anyway. Oh. 
All right, kid. Things have been the cakewalk up until now. Now you're in my neck of the woods. The mean streets. So just stay next to me. You've got no idea what you're up against down here. Ah. What the hell is that? That's a that's a joy mute is what that is. Hey kid, when we were fighting that thing, it made me remember something that happened a while back. Funny how little things like that will jog your memory. Anyway, so back when we were working for the pulsating mass, it was getting tired of dealing with us. Called us inept, you know? Totally unfair assessment. The solution? It took some blood samples and tried to make super strong clones of us. That whole thing involved some boring sign stuff, so I only half paid attention. It didn't really work, but I guess the clones are on the loose down here now. Shows what I know. Better be extra careful. Might even run into a mutant version of me. God, we're gonna have to fight Punch Tanaka again. And Reek's in there. Jimmy would rather not go any closer. Speaking of which, what does Jimmy think about this place? Jimmy is afraid. I see, we've got a map. No, I didn't mean to do that. Is that Tommy Wiseau? Oh, that's just Grunge to knock. <laughs> no, that's Tommy Wiseau. Uh, we'll have to see how we have him built. Because I don't remember all the specific stuff I put on him. But I've, I've built him around... Uh... It's mostly just all around uh, magic attack completely. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, now I've just got Brainiac to boost magic attack 50%. Antibodies, because that's the only other thing I had to put on there. Yeah, I haven't really messed with the rest of this stuff. I did for one fight specifically. Yeah, yeah. The Brainiac is... Antibodies is just there because it was the only one I had. Brainiac's the big one I wanted. You get the costumes. I should put that in. Put that in over Barrier. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't really use Jimmy's normal form. I just don't feel like it's there yet to where it's like really good to use. Or not matter transfer. Well, I, either one's good. At some point, I'll figure out all of Jimmy's stuff. Uh, here, let's check. He's got the crayons, which give him a massive magic attack boost. Uh, is there anything better he can get with this? Ooh. Estimates. For even more ma- 424. Oh, that seems like overkill at that point. Nah. But yeah, that, that's what we've got for him. Yeah, I, I feel like Jimmy's normal form isn't going to be worthwhile until we've got a bunch of stuff from everything. Oh, why did I skip? I want to see the enemies. I want to see more of Tommy. Big Enormous Slug and Johnny Tentacles. I knew I recognized that unibrow. Where'd 
the second stop. But what don't you like about Johnny Tentacles? He's just living his best life. Talking specifically about like how you can steal his knives, or am I forgetting something else because it's been so long since I fought him? You know what? I should try and steal his tentacles. We'll give it a shot. I can steal his tentacles. Let's try not to kill him immediately. You can just take all- No! Okay, hold on. I want to do- <laughs> I need to find another Johnny Tentacles. For science. should have save scummed. I can remember to next time. <laughs> what a story, Johnny. Wait, he's Johnny. It's the wrong Johnny. your two knives. <laughs> Very good. Andrew, you just chill out. For science, it's fine. Did I did I lose the ninety seven percent chance to grab something? Unbelievable. Still kills me that the Binding of Isaac card gave actually has Johnny from the room as a character you can play as. That's incredible. I've only seen some of the cards for that. Oh. Well, there he is. Johnny No Tentacles. Gotta put him down. Put him out of his misery. done something terrible that I don't feel good about it. Take the form of how I feel. Oh, he's back. Never mind. We're all good.
I'll still give less money like that. Never do it again. You assumed that I was going to take the time to take every single one of his tentacles again. Which maybe. Oh, we got another dark cave. Love it. Never mind. Oh, you're new. D D D D. Four D. Surprise, he even has an attack stat at that point. Again, why didn't I save beforehand? I gotta remember these things. So just spends every turn muttering to himself. Oh. I didn't see. We got worms. This is fine. Um. I assume this is the pulsating mass. I've heard so much about you. Jimmy, this is serious. The pulsating mass has grown much larger than I imagined. This is only a portion of it. Attack it? There's no point. What you see here is merely an appendage, a limb. Remove it and it would just regenerate. We would only be wasting our time. We have to strike it at its center. Hopefully that hasn't made it... Hopefully that hasn't made it to Central Hub yet. Time is running out. Some of those it's aren't orange. Nine out of ten game. This is fine. But it's would have the one that came right after. I think. Again, I, I have established that I can't read, so it, I could be wrong. All right, there's a toy box up here. I need to remember to save. We're all the way at the end now. Dang, no toy box. I see. We've made it to Handsome Squidward Zone. Central Hub current status, all clear. Threat detected. Okay, you're not going to fight me though. That's good. What's, what's this way? Oh. Neat. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take a really quick BRB. Probably like 5 or 10 minutes because i got to go let my dog out. So I will be right back.
And we're back. Just give me one second here. Also, we're getting to the point in the evening where my internet is going to start having some problems. So uh, expect some frame drops, probably. And uh, there's a chance that within like maybe an hour and a half, two hours or so, uh, the stream might just completely crash and not come back. All very real possibilities, but we'll just kind of play it by ear, see how it goes. So everything is all clear according to the robot, who I have no reason to trust. This also very much reminds me of... Hello? Various orbs. Counter orb. Don't like it. This is reminding me of uh, Gammy's spaceship. Just a little bit. Okay, good. It doesn't counter magic. I thought that's what it just did. Yeah, we're fine. We're all good. All right, you know, I should see which form I want to level up here. Revolting Blob is going to take forever to get what I want. Uh, I'll level up Flower, so I get Comforting Smile. That's what I originally wanted to do. Oh, it is Gammy! Recovery Orb, Counter Orb, Broadcast Orb. Don't like any of them. Punch is playing a dangerous game now because his normal attack hits everyone, so I can't let him do that. Broadcast is implemented in a funny way. How so? Filth detected. When did you last take a shower? It's been a while. I've been on an adventure, Gammy. Did you remember to brush last night? Again, I've been too busy being on an adventure. Jimmy is just insane with his magic. Then makes attacks. Then makes attacks AOE. This is not something you can just implement normally. There's no AOE tag you can flip with statuses and shit. But they all have copies of their attacks that are AOE versions that they can only use if the status is active. Interesting. It's very cool hearing how the creator just like subverted everything with RPG Maker just to make it work. Kind of makes you wonder if there was like a better engine to use 
or if just like using this one out of spite was I mean it ended up making the game that we have so in the end it worked I wonder if he's still going to be using that for his next game I mean, it was is it him to the earless god that his next game is or is that something else because if that game is made in RPG Maker, that looks incredible for that. It doesn't look like it's made in RPG Maker. Yeah, I figured. I figured after this and hearing all the things he had to do just to make this game work, he wouldn't want to use that ever again. Have you taken your pills yet, honey? Oh, we're... We're learning some stuff about real Jimmy now. All right, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to finally learn about real Jimmy a bit. But yeah, just from seeing the trailer for that, and now having played some of his other work, I'm very excited for that game. There's a cavity in the machine that's the exact same size as Jimmy's hand. Would you like to put your hand in it? Yes. Alright, I've done it. I need to... I need to shake. I know how they make you feel, but you have to take them. In fact, Casey accidentally leaked the name for that game years early. How so? How did he manage that? Let's see, which which form do I want to level up next? Good. Changeable aura. Ooh, magic defense. Okay, I think we level up vampire next. Send a file in the Jimmy Discord for one of the tracks from the game Thresher Part 2. Oh, that's a shame. The metadata was still on the song. Oh. Oh, that must have hurt. I'd like to assume anyone on that Discord was very considerate about it and didn't go spreading the word too much, at least, until it was officially out. I'd like to think so. It seems like for, for a game like this, you'd have a very tight-knit community. Because honestly, there's like nobody playing this game. It's, it still baffles me that this game is how it is, and yet I don't hear anybody talking about it ever. All clear. But also, it means I can go into this experience completely blind. So I'll take it for what it's worth. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting the same feeling like playing this game as I did when I played Everhood. Where it's like, I'm, I'm playing a game that I can actively, like, experience is becoming, like, one of my favorites. But nobody has ever talked about it. I mean, like, even some people still play 
Everhood, I still usually see that category having at least a couple people every day when I check it. Uh, but like this, I, I had never even heard a soul speak about it. Security aircraft, Iron Flamingo. Current status, unknown. Now, like, you, you get some weirdos with any Discord server, honestly. Security aircraft, Silver Goose. Current status, import. Uh, so is that the one the goons took? The one that's missing? There's a cavity in the machine that's the exact same size as Jimmy's hand. Yes. I heard of Jimmy from the review that Nitro Rad did several ages ago. It's the only one. Yeah. Nitro Rad is a wonderful channel for finding obscure indie games. He really just checks out anything he wants to, and I, I admire that. Even if I don't watch his stuff a ton. But I, every time I see like one of his videos, like it's always for something that looks really interesting. I know there are a couple games that I ended up playing because of reviews he did, but I can't remember what they were. Check how Jimmy felt about this place. Jimmy is learning to speak robot. Beep, 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 beep. That means my beeping mechanism is broken. Please repair. Jimmy has a good sense of humor, if nothing else. Receiving transmission. Gammy! Jimmy, you said would visit. Where are... miss you... so dark. End of transmission. Everything we're seeing here is... Oh, there is some interesting stuff happening here. Everything we're seeing here is in Jimmy's perspective. Like, there's... That's what I was trying to figure out, actually. Well, the, the first thing that caught my eye is this here. Where Jimmy is afraid of dogs, and I'm assuming that's his experience with a dog attack. And you can see Buck in the background. It's kind of chilling. And I assume he helped Jimmy out with that. Saved him. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, who is that in the... No, that that's a doctor, clearly. That's a doctor with a clipboard. I pounced on by a dog once. It's not pleasant, I don't believe... I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I have, I, I've not been like attacked by a dog, but I've dealt with a lot of big dogs in my life. And yeah, ha having one like rush at you is always a, yeah, it's, it's always a shock. I was registering it as a large brown egg. Could be anything. Yeah, I mean, any big dog coming at you is kind of terrifying. Yeah, that, that's why that's why I stick to little dogs. What else do we have here? We have Jimmy laying in his bed in the top right. The 
that just looks like him watching a television show or something. He's a cockapoo. That's the real name of it. That's an amazing dog breed name. There's some clouds on the left. Ah, wait. Kick his old. Okay. That's Jonathan Bear's show right there. Oh my god, you're right. I completely forgot about the Jonathan Bear show. I had forgotten that it was a show and not a nightmare that I experienced. And what is this? News anchor talking about mouse. But assuming these are all like real world things. What would that be about? I mean, Jonathan Mouse is a very prevalent thing in Jimmy's mind. He's everywhere we go, or in most of the places we've been. I've also been... It wasn't a show, how could Jimmy legally acquire merchandise of it? Yeah, exactly. I've also been rethinking my theory. I'm not positive anymore that Jimmy's in, like... If Jimmy's dealing with something like a brain tumor, I don't I don't know anymore. I'm thinking he may have been in like some kind of accident or something. Either way, he's definitely in like a coma of some sort, I think. Or he's out cold. But I've been thinking that like the intense, like, gore and, like, mutilation that's been in a lot of Jimmy's stuff. Just realized this place looks like a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... It's just very, like, cold and clean to, like, an eerie degree. But, uh... Yeah, I was thinking, like, for Jimmy to imagine up, like, the the gore and bodily mutilation that's been in a lot of the enemies that's like something for for an eight-year-old that's not something you would just imagine up that's something you would have to have like seen i i don't know where jimmy would have like seen that so that's something that's like throwing me off a bit But also, like, I don't know if that's literally what it is or if it's just, like, just a metaphorical thing and I'm looking into it too much. And I would like to retort that I had nightmares about people having their skin peel off around his age, so, yeah. I mean, the, the human brain is a... It, it's a weird, confusing, and terrifying thing. So I, at this point, I thought I had something, but now I'm I'm just not sure. We still don't know what Jimmy's like exact experiences were information guy it's been so long since we've seen you the hippocampus is one of the key parts of the brain involved in storing memories i wouldn't be able to remember the facts if it weren't for the hippocampus would you like me to repeat that no yeah the music's nice Yeah, hospitals are always just such eerie places. For for a long time in my life, I had to work as a janitor. You know, I, I get where Punch Tanak was coming from with that. But also, like, I, I worked as a janitor for, like, various places. And in high school, one of the places I cleaned was a... Uh, 
a, a medical facility. And I always had to clean it very late at night. It was like, uh... It, it was like, I think... From like 8 to like 3 in the morning. That was like my high school job. And that place was always like extremely eerie during the night. I mean, it wasn't that bad because I, I was like the only person there and I got to just like listen to music and podcasts the entire time. So it was it was honestly a, a pretty cool job. But like it it was just extremely eerie. And the only ghost story that I uh, have is from uh, a night where I was working in that place. It's not even an interesting one. It was just like, I, I, I thought I saw like the sh a shadow of someone. But yeah, cool places, hospitals. You kind of need them to live. Well, you need them to live under certain circumstances. The hope would be that you never have to go to one. Well, I should be fighting things. At least sometimes. Just for a change of pace. Cree! Can I shake you? No. Kuh. You're saying different, like, syllables at me? This robot doesn't seem to have a mouth. This robot doesn't seem to have a lot of things. It seems to have leg, and that is about it. Robot has no mouth with which to tell you to stop. I'm sorry. Like the Wallace and Gromit legs. Yeah, I, I've... I've been thinking about this game a lot, and I'm excited to get to the point where we start finally learning about what's actually going on. Current status, REM. An REM sleep. Would you like to look through the telescope? Yes, please. Oh. It's still dark out. Well, that all but confirms you know, we're in a hospital. There's there's that there there's that bear. Still dark out. Yeah, this looks like the beast. Yeah. This looks like a regular hospital. From what little you can see of it.
So I noticed the only thing we had was the bear. No flowers, no cards or anything. Very rude. We can complain about it when we wake up. I didn't even see you there. I have a deal for you. This is a very special place, so this is a very important decision. You see, in this place, I have seen my future. It is uncertain. But my time on this planet is short. If you would like, I can turn into a healing fountain, or I can stay here and sell equipment. While this equipment is good, you'll be able to purchase it elsewhere eventually. Ooh. Well, you see, the thing is, I'm kind of saving all of my money. So... I'm not really looking to spend anything. Give me a moment. Of course, think it over. It's an important decision. I do kind of need a fountain. Well, I don't need a fountain. Uncertain by my time on this planet, sure. I mean, if you turn into a healing fountain, I assume that's like you die. So maybe you just sell me equipment. I've lived a good life as a merchant, so it is only fitting that I continue in that role. Oh my god. This is gonna take all of my money. Jimmy only? Nah, we don't want that for Jimmy. This doesn't do anything extra for Andrew. It's a life story of a famous writer mostly just complaining. Ooh, these are good though. Dang. I'm not broke. I can afford one thing. None of these are anything that I want. Oh wait, the bike chain could be good. Oh, that's massive actually. Okay, hold on. Okay, maybe I maybe I am kind of broke. Uh, what can I sell? That. Battle armor. We don't need that anymore. Watch it. She's gonna come back, and she's not gonna have any equipment because of that. We have the fish knife. We have the travel guide. Or scroll. Okay, I think that's enough. Wave cannon is cool. This is cooler. Up to 150 attack. Yes, please. Okay, so... Dak, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I appreciate that very much. Heard y'all got a pulsating mass. It's a problem we're trying to take care of. It's a growth we're trying to remove. But also enjoy the uh, the emotes. The temporary emotes that we have. Eventually I'm going to commission someone to make better versions of them. 
like actual versions of them, but for now, it's th the best I can do. But yeah, thank you very much for that. I, I appreciate it. I, I should probably heal. Okay, we're good. We didn't even need the fountain. I do like how well they ended up working. Except the animated ones. The animated ones are very squashed. Those, those need to be taken care of quickly. This is... We should consult the secret knowledge. Yes, yes, let's see. Yes. It's beginning to all make sense. It doesn't matter anymore, says someone. I'm already here. Oh, the whole family's back together. After all this time. Fuck. Hmm. I see you're still a monster. That's problematic. Shut up. Well, Lars... Lars is off making his own family now. He's, he's fine. He didn't want to be here. Fuck. Why does it feel like I can't see you when I look into your eyes anymore? Jimmy. I've given you every opportunity, yet you still resist. How much of your family must I reach into? Must I rip out all of their insides like pumpkin guts? Must I leave them as husks? You are all I want, Jimmy. I've come to devour you and you alone. It's up to you if it goes beyond that. Never experienced such powerful delta waves. Yo. Enough of this noise. Oh, that's right. Punch Tanaka isn't part of the family. Well, you know what? Screw it. Punch Tanaka's family now. He's found family. Kid. Mama kid. Papa kid. Listen up. This is tough for me to admit, but we're not strong enough to win this fight. There's some escape pods in the area behind you. Get in them and get the hell out of here. Old Punch Tanaka's about to do you a so No, not after I just said you're a part of this family. Punch? Don't do that to me. Don't do it. Are you crazy? If we leave now, the pulsating mass will take over everything. You know, Papa Kid, I thought you were supposed to be the smart one. If you don't leave now, you're toast. Guaranteed. But, but the secret knowledge. I was so close to understanding. We were so close. You and your dumb book. Let me put it to you this way. Would you rather lose your kid for sure right now? Or at least have a shot with him later? But... Hmm. You're right. We should retreat for now. Some problems can have multiple solutions. Great. Here's the plan. You're gonna get in those escape pods and I'm gonna feed your son a knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich reference? Yo? Mr. Tanaka, please. Deep down, he's still my son. Yeah, you're kind of limiting my options, Mama Kid. No, that's not it. I mean, if you were to bruise my precious son's face, I would hunt you down, but... I know my buck. I don't think you'll last very long, Mr. Tanaka. Eh, <laughs> think I don't know that? Oh, Mr. Tanaka, you don't have to. Don't worry about it. I owe the kid my life. Seems like a good, as good a place as any to pay him back. God. Oh my god, you're right, I did just buy him that weapon too. Ah, shit, Punch, you can't die yet. I've, I've put money into you. <laughs> and also your family. This has gone on long enough. Alright. That's it. Get out of here. Well, you know what? Now he's gonna... He's gonna win. 
because of that. I gave him a fighting chance. I did save before, but you know what? I I, I don't like I I I'm gonna live with my decisions. Punch is gonna have a chance now because he's got a cool new bike chain. Thanks for believing in Punch Tanaka. That kind of thing makes my heart sing. Without you, I'd be well, I'd be nothing. I start running, kid. It's okay, honey. Get inside and go wherever it takes you. We'll find each other. I'm sure of it. No, we're splitting up again? Please don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We'll get through this together, alright? They better get in the escape pod and not try and fight Buck. Punch Tanaka's equipment has been removed. Damn it. Dang, I'm all alone. Planet Jimmy. So he didn't give he didn't keep the bike chain. It's something to remember him by. Until I see him again, then I won't have to need it to remember him by because he'll be here and I won't have to remember him. And he's going to be fine and he's not going to die. He's going to be good. Everything is fine. Jimmy, your planet is very barren. Cool music, though. Oh, we're home. He's acting like he's in a nightmare. Jimmy has had a long day. He can barely hold his eyes open. It has been a lot, hasn't it, Jimmy? Jimmy's sleep is deep, empty, dreamless. No. 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 I refuse. We don't have to open it up. We don't have to. We can just stop playing the game. That's fine. How long did you think you could hide here? Don't you understand that I will eat everything? It's my nature. It's what I am. Well, you know what? It's not Jonathan. It's like the second worst thing. Oh, we're fine. I see. Well, I guess that owns my house now. Well, it kind of is. You know what? It's Jonathan on a technicality. I hate them both equally. Oh, wait. I should fight things. I want to see what enemies are here. Also, there weren't enemies before, but now there are. It's a, it's a funny little alien man. It's a squirm. It's glowing now.
Jonathan on a technicality is the worst kind of Jonathan. It's one of life's greatest rules. You know, we got some scenery here now. Planet Helga. We got the Lorax trees, hell yeah. Oh, honey. Why are you crying? I know it's hard, but don't cry. You can't cry. If you cry, you'll make me cry, and I won't be able to stop. The important thing is that we're together now. Oh. Was that the real... That's the real Helga. You found her. I feel a lot safer now. Tongue plant. Yeah, I, I need that out of here. I need that to be gone. Like how veiny it was. I shouldn't be skipping the enemies. I want to see what's here. I just do it out of instinct. Oh, it's just two of them. Get out of here. Checking there's nothing else around. This feels like I'm getting close to the end, but I know that's not the case, because this game is massive. Planet Andrew. Again, very symmetrical. Okay, let's see. Do the end to how to do Is that not correct? Oh no, they're not supposed to be all the way up. Okay. Oh, 
Oh god. The problem with this is that I have a chronic case of the stupid. The second one has to be... Oh, okay. I thought I did it that way. I just did it wrong. Simply astounding. You were able to decipher the lock and free me. You're such a clever boy, Jimmy. Positively prescient? 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 Whatever that word is. I'm so proud of you. Jimmy, I'm sorry for not being smart enough. If I were smarter, I would have found a way to defeat the pulsating mass. Maybe there's still time. Maybe we can reclaim the secret knowledge. Maybe it's still the key, but the pulsating mass is, in essence, just a problem. And if I were smarter, I could solve it. Whenever I look at you, Jimmy, I'm reminded of how much of an idiot I am. Forgive your idiot father. Let him make it up to you in any small way he can. Pulsating mass draws nearer. Let's hurry. Oh, what are you? Mouth. I think there's more than just a mouth there, but I'll, I'll take it. Absorb? Oh. Well, that changes things. Uh... Oh, if only I had... A punch Tanaka with me. Well, I haven't used Bear in a while. Because it's finally time. Jimbo's kind of encouraged to go fizz. Oh, no. I hope that's not the case. This his entire build is <laughs> around magic. I'll, um, I'll find a way. We'll live. We'll be good. Punch Tanaka is going to return any second now. I just gotta believe. I've got the eye of the tiger. I'll be fine. Oh, is this Lars's world? Oh my god, Lars went to the moon! Plant R. I thought this was going to be Planet Lars, but I guess it's just Plant R. But Lars went to the moon, and this looks like the moon. But, already? Lars. You've been busy. Oh, hey, Jimbo. You're all the way up here, huh? 
I guess now's as good as ever to spring the big news. My dad. Turns out Moon Warriors have kids pretty quickly. Why are you visiting us out here anyway? Ah, I see. I really thought things were going to be alright. It's okay, Lars. You can go. Only you have the power to help Jimmy. Huh? I do? I mean, yeah, of course. Take my spaceship and go back to your, to your world, Jimmy. Don't worry about me and Moon Baby. <laughs> we'll build a new spaceship soon and follow you after I finish Moon Baby's dinner. Oh, okay. Uh, see you later, honey. Hey Jimbo, I don't know if I'll be any help at all. I'm happy we can hang out again though. Being a father is really hard. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of a lifesaver right now. Oh, and he's an absentee parent too. V very cool, Lars. Very cool. Huh, weird. That's a cool show. You'll be fine, Jimmy. My husband is the perfect warrior. Now it's not the best time for a challenge, Jimmy. You must hurry to my spaceship. Moon Baby is making weird baby noises. Do I... Do I... Do, do I shake the baby? <laughs> I feel like I have to. I have to shake everything. Please don't shake Moon Baby. Moon Baby is strong, but she'll get sick. I'm sorry. That was very rude of me. I'll, I'll be on my way now. It had to be done, though. Oh my god. You just don't have any skin. That's pretty neat. Alright, let's get rid of everything else, and then we'll deal with the, the mouth. Oh, Lars, I forgot to give you anything. Whoops. Uh, you'll be fine, buddy. You, you've got this. Take it out. All right, I need to give Lars things. Mjolnir? Looks and feels just like the original. Lars only. That's a cool animation. R really bad attack, though. Well, I guess you have Mjolnir. Is that, that works. Alright, what do we give you? Jacks. This would take away his HP regen, but give him 25% more attack. It also just give him the keepsake. All right, Lars, you can have. No, he's not really. Have pulverizing light just in case we need it, and a 
maybe first aid just to help out a bit. Also, yeah, Lars, we don't really need you to attack that much. You can have your buckler back. Well, is useful since it means Jimmy doesn't have to be gooning. Uh, don't like your word choice, but I get what you mean. We can make that happen. That is a good point since we don't have punch with us anymore. Critical heal. That's a first. That's a second. Bear is finally getting some experience. Oh, I don't even get to appreciate the scenery. Get out of here. I want to see how nice this looks. That, that was a cool, smooth transition. Also, I hate it. I don't like looking at it. This really feels like I'm getting towards the end. Check around just to make sure it's nothing else. And we're back. Can I just fly this around now? Yes, this is what I've been wanting. We can worry about the pulsating mass and the fact that it's also absorbed this place right in front of us. We can forget all that for now. I've got an airship. Rules for a successful space flight. Keep arms and legs inside the vehicle to avoid harsh vacuum of space. Press A button to toggle map. Have a nice day. First RPG Maker game I've seen in my entire life that used an airship. Is that Blue Sparkle, by the way? With the airship or no? No, just. I'm gonna say it again. Yo! They better be here to help me save Punch Tanaka. Ugh, kid. We were just about to start. The boss is, I mean, I mean, the boss was the kind of guy who, oh, <laughs> having a funeral for him. No, he's alive. I don't know why we're having a funeral for him, because he's alive. He's very much alive. All clear. Shut up, you stupid hunk of crap. Threat detected. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, 
The boss was the kind of guy that lived by the rules of his own heart. And, and his heart was bigger than anyone else's in this world, man. This world ain't nowhere good enough for a guy like that. To me, to me, the boss was... I, I can't keep it together no more. Hmm. What to say about the boss? He always tried to be cool, but he was the coolest when he wasn't trying at all. One time I saw him pick up a nest of baby birds and put it back in a tree. Never saw him without his sunglasses on. Looking him in the eyes was like looking yourself in the eyes. I think he just wore them because he liked the look, but that's what I got out of it. He always believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. If I saw myself like the boss always saw me, I would have been a lot happier with who I was. Jimmy, I'm glad you came out here. When we first met, we'd been hired to stop you. But after that first encounter, the boss kept talking about you. About how much you reminded him of a younger version of himself. I didn't see it at, I didn't see it then, but maybe I see it now. Got a little punch to knock in you, Jimmy. We all do, if we just let ourselves see it. Keep living your life to the fullest. It's what the boss would have wanted. I'm, uh, I'm not too good with words. Fair enough. No way. No way. Oh, we're doing this? Jimmy imagines himself speeding through the desert on his motorcycle. He careens across the dunes. Sam tickles his nose. The wind is blowing through his perfect hair. The sun is shining off his shades. Freedom is in his lungs. His heart sings. Jimmy doesn't even remember getting his driver's license, but that's okay. He hits a skid and loses control. The motorcycle tumbles into a bunch of cacti. Whatever. Motorcycles are dumb anyway. They always break on you one way or another. They're not tough, like a good friendship. Jimmy wipes the dust from his sunglasses and stands tall. He feels a deep and powerful energy welling within him. Suddenly, he's standing on top of a mountain. The blizzard has stopped. The clouds above him split open. A serenity overcomes him. Words form in the clouds overhead. Friends live forever in your heart. Fuck yeah. As Punch Tanaka Jimmy can... Well, he can do things Punch Tanaka can do. Dedicated punch button. Oh my god. Punch this robot. Oh, I, I was hoping to send it over the edge. I, I'm so happy. I'm sad that Punch is dead, but I'm so happy that I've found the Punch Tanaka within me. Just what the bird does already. That's fine. I never use the bird anyway, but I'm going to be using this, like, all the time. Except not really, because I'm, I'm a magic build, but, you know... Let's see, let's see what he can do. Alright, Punch Tanaka's got Counter Stance, Cold Shot, Shakedown, and Magnificent Combo. 300% physical damage to turn cooldown. Let's see what else he's got. Intimidating stare. Show the enemy you mean business. Startle all enemies at the start of a fight. Oh, that's nice. Being sure of yourself helps you fudge your way through most things in life. All stats plus 
That's amazing. Is this the first time we saw the full name? Full name who? Punch Tanaka? He says his full name every time. Oh wait, no, the mag combo. Oh, yeah. I I didn't even put that together. I was just like, wow, we get a new move. Neat. Okay, who needs the bear anymore? We got Punch Tanaka. That's it. I'm going to see you attack defense and like, oh. Oh, that's really good. Okay, punch to knock is great. I mean, we already knew that, but goddamn. I want to. Oh, that seems like the end. That seems like I don't want to go there. That seems like the end of the game. Neat. I knew we were going to get an airship at some point. I'm still just happy we have it. Can't get in yet? Okay. I was just worried it was immediately going to be like, well, we're at the end of the game now. Yeah, we can check it out. Everyone is here. Well, at least these two are here. Lawrenson wanted to make Cubbins happy, so he came all the way out here. I don't like how this place makes me feel, Jimmy. I'm not normally one to go off of gut instinct, but this place makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. It's like a hand is going to reach out of that door and grab me. Oh, Cubbins wanted to come here because Rubik was inside. Oh. Manny and I followed Cubbins all the way here. He's been scratching at that door, but it won't open no matter what. I even punched it as hard as I could, and it felt like punching a big wad of chewed up bubblegum. I asked Manny if I could blow it up with dynamite, but she said I can't use any ever since last time. He's pawing at the entrance. No! I mean, you really are a child sometimes. You don't spoof me like that. This place has already got me on edge, you know? not even paying attention to you. God. A sad dog is the quickest way to make me sad. Call shot, mana burn, brainiac, analysis, dreamstone. Yeah. You, you can definitely build something insane once you've got the setup for it. What's this? Alright, well, we... We have a shit ton of stuff to explore now. Let's just start. Sand detected. Must sweep. Sand detected. Must sweep. It's gonna sweep until the island doesn't exist anymore. It's finer circuitry. Oh. Enemies here. Overheard secret code. I knew it. I knew that this was not going to just be toys. Heard secret code. Excuse me while I write this down. Hold on. Need a better place to write it. God damn it, everything is falling apart. Okay. Secret code. Is Rack Asna Shh. 
play. Buh. Got it. I just gotta find out where that goes. Decrypting. Oh. <laughs> well. Cool. Let me just write that. Let me write that the translation for that. God, can I write one thing without something falling off my desk? Five, one, seven, two, three, six, four. Now I gotta find that thing that fell. All right, we're fine. <laughs> Wait. There was an enemy here. I want to see what it is. I want to be punched to knock when I do it. Oh, it's just more of you. Let's see if Combust is still just like insanely good. Yeah, even as Punch Nanaka, the magic boost is still good enough to make it work. In case you missed their steals. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, this is new, isn't it? I don't remember ever coming up here. Yeah, I saw you had bad magic, so I, I wanted to test it. I'm not going to use it for like an actual fight, but just for like the simple enemies. Alright, there is a ton of stuff to do now. It... This wasn't here before. Oh, it's the moon. It's... Hello. Scanning for anomalous life forms. Anomalous life forms detected. It was, you just couldn't reach it. How did I just not see it before? Location. Bonita Vista. Anomalous life form detected. Location Iron Flamingo. Anomalous life form in Giant Garden. Okay. Don't know what that means yet, but I'll keep it in mind. There's something in Bonita Vista I can check out. There's a few things that I want to check out. What? What was this? The ultimate construction. Wait a minute. I haven't been here yet. Did this just show up? I don't remember this being here. Yeah, this did okay. Yeah, that's it. I thought I was going crazy for a minute. Oh, this is where. Okay, good. Mr. Beaver's still alive. Oh, Jimmy, you come to check out the ultimate construction, huh? You're running for a good time. Mind stepping forward onto that mark? That's great, Jimmy. You do a good job of following rules. That's something I like about you. The ultimate construction is the pinnacle of my design philosophy. It's a place of order. It's a place of rules. It's paradise. While you're here, I hope you'll be a good guest and follow all of my rules. You don't have to, of course. I mean, people are free to break any rule they want. That's what freedom is all about. I like that break any rule is in the same orange as when people talk about the pulsating mass. But, that would be pretty disrespectful, don't you think? 
So do your best to follow the rules. Alright, first order of business. Um, uh, well, crud. Something just came up. Could you wait there for a while? I'll let you know when to move. Seriously, don't move an inch. Alright, we're not moving. Setting the uh, keyboard to the side. Staying right here. Look, I've played Earthbound. When I'm told to stand somewhere for a few minutes, I will do so. It's part of the gaming experience. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's been a bunch of things I've been seeing that I can't get to. I'm excited to check them all out. Are you still waiting here? Sorry, I got distracted and made a sandwich. You can go upstairs now. What if I want to go this way? No. Can't Stanley Parable my way out of this one. Hey, Jimmy, do you mind flipping that red switch? I meant to do that earlier, but forgot. Hmm? The blue switch? Oh, just leave that one alone. Don't even know why I installed that. I will be a good the boy. Or I could do both. Now I'll be a good boy. Jimmy, I'm kind of in a bind. My new exotic pet just arrived, but I haven't had the time to check it out. Do you mind reaching in the cage and checking if it's still alive? We'll talk about it later. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Something is moving in the back of the cage, but it's too dark to make out. You want to reach inside? Yeah. Something bit Jimmy's hand. It's adorable! Miss Asp. I could just... Oh, escape is not an option. Well, sorry this had to happen. A weird looking dog. It bit me, so I bit it back. <laughs> exactly, that's the excuse I'll use. Didn't exactly bite, more punched and froze it. But I think that'll still work though. Hey Jimmy, I'm planning on putting a nice new wall where that yellow line is. You shouldn't be able to walk over it. Actually, that's a rule now. Don't walk over that yellow line. Oh, you are tempting me. I mean, is that... Is that so much a yellow line? That's like a... That's like a very light green. That's like a very light lime green. Not so much yellow. Could maybe mm, I could I could I could maybe get over there on a technicality there are enemies in here what get out of here we'll see massing of you shoe with hot lead in it Get out of here. You beautiful creature, you. Alright, I still think that's green, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, there's more. And they're loose. Take him out. Well, if that's the secret knowledge, well, I guess I'll never know. Uh. 
Was that a secret back there and I'm making progress right now? God damn it. Me and my indecisiveness. Up ahead is my break room. It's a nice place to take a load off, you know? Sometimes I rest there for two, maybe three minutes. Anyway, don't fill up on junk food. A balanced diet is important. Oh, this is progress, isn't it? But the other way isn't. Nice abstract art. bit me. That dapper looking dog. Oh. Get back out here. Coward. Oh. We're all going to die. Never mind. Now we're fine. Just gotta believe. Believe in the process. <gasps> I've broken the rules. On a technicality. The best kind of way to break a rule. That's neat. Yes! I forgot to save scum and I didn't even need to. That's perfect. I think if I don't die, I will have a hundred thousand by the time I go back. Oh, that, that's, that's wonderful. I swear I remember how to navigate these menus. Super rad ghost, hell yeah. Take it out. Sorry dude, late for the party, got a jet. Oh. Maybe I can steal something from it. Got so many snakes in this house. It's a bit concerning, but at least they're they're dressed nicely, so it's okay. Can appreciate their style.
Also, I appreciate the amount of cowbell in this song. I think that's cowbell. Could be wrong. I don't know my bells very well. Jimmy, you're gonna like this one. I've made a person-sized board game and you get to be your own piece. Pretty fun, right? Well, I insist that you play it. Just walk over to the start square and press Z to begin, whatever that means. Oh, that reminds me, there's that whole dungeon thing that I haven't done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I completely forgot that existed. I need to do that again. Would you like to play? Yes. Okay, let's see. Move forward five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone lost some HP. Oh. Okay, let's see. Move forward three spaces. Can I heal first? I do. I do need to do it. The item quality of the toy boxes has increased. Nice. Current item level is two. Or one space. Oh, you piece of garbage. Oh, I didn't see how many he said. Oh god. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Damn it, I didn't get to the stream in time. I didn't see how many he said. Did he say two? Oh god. Oh god. two or three. Okay. 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 I'm gonna throw some MP. Okay, cool. I was think I was thinking it was gonna be too nice for him to give me MP back immediately. I didn't trust it. Forward two spaces. Three spaces. One, two, three. That's gonna kill someone. Oh no. It's just a battle. We're fine. Thought that was just gonna be instant death for someone. See, we just gotta trust the process. Gotta follow the rules. Because everything we lost, we got back. Everything is good. Everything is fine. We gotta trust Mr. Beaver. Forward two spaces. Just, just gotta trust the process. God, this goes on for so long. You have to move backwards next turn. Four spaces. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> God damn it. Move to the next red space. You piece of garbage. Or it's six spaces. Okay, do it. I still have MP. I'm good. One, two, three, four. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. <laughs> Just taking all my stuff and giving it back to me immediately. One, two. Backwards three. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. The yeah, quality of the toy box has increased. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. It's so close. It's right there. I see it. Next monster space will have stronger enemies. Move forward five spaces. One, two, three. Oh, so we're all good. Easy. Just too good at games. Jimmy, this rule is super important. I need you to make every left turn possible in this room. Why? Look, Jimmy, rules don't have to make sense. They just need to be followed. Okay, make every left turn possible. Sit. 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 I'm running low on MP. What are you? Skitter bouquet. It's a weird looking dog. I love it. give everyone a little more MP. Just to be safe. Use one of those. I wasn't paying attention. I had to go left, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I've made every left turn. I almost broke a rule. That'd be unforgivable. Holding the Mr. Beaver's Ultimate Pit Fighting Championship. Maybe the name needs a little work. I'm not really the creative type. Anyway, make sure to follow the special rules for each battle. This next one, for instance, it's teaching you a lesson. And that lesson is stealing is wrong. So win this one without stealing. I, I hardly ever steal anyway. This will be easy. Hang on, I should go ahead and heal. We're pretty close to getting that 100k. I'm almost certain by the time we're done with this, we'll have it. Patience is a virtue, you know. So how about you wait five turns before killing anything this time? Okay. Wait five turns. Okay, turn one. It's fine. Turn two.
turn four. Turn five. Murder. Time for murder. I think I did that right. Oh, that's weird. These aren't the monsters I wanted. Well, this was a big mistake. Go ahead and run from this one. Just to absolutely make sure. And they were so rad. Well, I think we can all agree that we had a genuinely enjoyable experience. The end of Mr. Beaver's Ultimate Pit Fighting Championship. Feel free to move on. There's so much more. Near me, you're almost at the top of the ultimate construction. One last rule. This is the room where I keep all of my cool stuff. It's a real look but don't touch situation. Just to be safe, make sure you stay on the yellow line. Gotta take it one step at a time. God, all that stuff is so cool. The fountain. The information guy. It's been so long. Seek the secret fun button. Oh, it hurts. Rubik! You can't just do that. Rubik's alive? Rub Rubik's alive and Cubbins doesn't know? I, I, I have to ignore it. We'll never know what the secret fun button does. Well, Jimmy, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the ultimate construction. It's a magical place filled with wondrous order. Oh, goody. Jimmy, I knew you. I could count on you to follow the rules. Come into my office. I'd like to share something with you. Hello, Jimmy. I'm glad you're here. It's always nice when someone takes an interest in my work. Now that I've built the ultimate construction, I've achieved all of my life goals. Now my greatest joy is watching these monitors all day. Sometimes a bug will get in and I'll have to go squash it. Sometimes I notice that one of the rooms has gotten dusty. These minor imperfections really mess with the order of things here. I don't care for them at all. I've also been getting antsy lately. What if the ultimate construction isn't ultimate enough? What if there's a higher level? Thoughts like these have been plaguing me. I've been considering building on to it even further. The problem is gravity. It means I can only build so high before it falls down. I'm beginning to have new dreams, but I have to tackle this problem. Maybe one day I can build so high I can make it to the moon. The moon has one-sixth of the gravity of the Earth. You know what that means. You're good at fractions, Jimmy. It means there's a possibility of building an ultimate construction that's six times larger than this one. That would be really something, wouldn't it? People would talk about a building like that. They'd say, wow, that's a big building. I didn't know buildings could be that big. But I would show them that they can be. If my mother were alive, I would let her live there. She would have a big kitchen and a bowling alley and a supermarket. You'd have to walk three days to get some vegetables. I think she would tell me it's the perfect place. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, Jimmy. Let me do a little something just for you. 
Wait here a minute. I thought he was going to make me wait a full minute. I just built a second story onto your clubhouse. Sorry it took so long, but I accidentally hit my thumb with a hammer and had to put a bandage on it. Stop by if you're ever in the neighborhood. I'll see you coming on the monitors. Yo? I didn't build the ultimate construction in the middle of a desert for the visitors, but it's still nice to see you. Alright, I'm going to shake him and then I'm going to check out my clubhouse. Now Jimmy, I didn't think I would have to establish a no-shaking rule. That kind of thing should just go without saying. I gotta go check it out. I've got a rad new clubhouse. Also, I mean... We don't have to follow the rules anymore. It's a lead coating. What does that do? Coating. Cover your clothes with this to make them more durable and way less comfortable. Defense plus 10%. If you break any of the rules, you have to sit in the bad room and think about how you were bad. I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself after that. It's a room with a TV of just Jimmy. Oh, dang. Let's give... I could, if I gave that to Lars... To 181. Hmm. How well does it do on Jimmy? Probably not nearly as good. Yeah, that, that's, that's a Lars thing. He's our beefy boy. Plugged into a power outlet. Looks like it's just a replica. Aw. I gotta know what it does. It's just a it's just a fidget button. It doesn't do anything, but it makes a satisfying clicking sound. He's not talking. Must be a replica. I don't believe you. Oh dang it is. No, I could walk all the way out, or I could use this. We list all the ways you broke the rules in detail, including how many times you pressed the secret fun button. Now I can press it all I want. And nobody can judge me. Alright, I don't know why I came here. Because I don't want to be here. I've got somewhere more important to be. Because I'm rich now. It, that that's for later. I gotta focus. Again, I gotta focus. I can't. I, I can't worry about that right now. I gotta go to the bank. Is there a bank here? I don't remember there being a bank here. This the bank? This is not the bank. A hotel? Good idea. There it is, okay. Oh, we're just short. No, wait, no, 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 wait, no, we got it. Yeah, we got it, we got it. I'm just bad at math.
There we go. We're all good now. I'm rich, baby! All I had to do was kill 23 snakes! Hold on, what's your area? I'm gonna see which one so I can pull for us. Oh yeah, yeah. But later. Welcome to Accelerated Dynamics. Oh, you must be here for the Platinum Member Luncheon. Let me just pull up your account. Let's see. I see that you're a Platinum Member. Are you here for the luncheon? Excellent, Mr. Jimmy. Please come this way. Oh, hello, Jimmy. I didn't expect to see any familiar faces here. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you're a Platinum member. You've been very sensible with your investments. Me? I know my salary is modest, but I've saved everything I can. I was hoping Mr. Grouse would see us personally, but I guess he's too busy. That's okay. I'm going to get the most out of this eat and greet that I can. I've already eaten a donut that's bigger than me, and I'm trying to take another one back home. Too bad my arms are so tiny. Maybe I can give Miss Robin a call. She makes so much money that she could have been a Platinum member, but I could never get her to open an account. The guy has a diverse portfolio. Indeed he does. That's why I respect the hell out of him. Oh, hello, Jimmy. I would have known... If I would have known this was just a coffee and donuts affair, I wouldn't have come. It's just nice to get out of the house, though. Not to mention we ditched Martin for the weekend. I'm not used to being around so many rich people. I just married into money. Before Harpley swept me off my feet, I was just a lowly maid in Legato Castle. But these kinds of things are still uncomfortable to me. Everyone here is so well dressed. Well, except for that one fellow in the bandages. I'm pretty sure he's not even a Platinum member. I don't know how he got in, but it looks like he's been through a lot. That, that cat's fine. Well, we'll just leave them there. The specter of death follows me wherever I go. I am haunted by the memories of death's icy touch on my shoulder. I know one day I will fall into an abyss so deep I will not be able to claw my way back out. Would you like me to repeat that? Yeah, why not? Thank you. He just keeps saying it. He's He's been through a lot. He, he just... He just needs to, to get some coffee and donuts. He'll be good. It's really not do that to people. It's not reasonable at all. Martin, how did you follow us? Oh, it's you, Jimmy. Sorry, I snapped. It's just habit with my son. I'm afraid we may have spoiled him. Oh, Jimmy, you're such a rascal. It doesn't matter who it is. They're going to get shaked, huh? Exactly. Sorry, I'm not getting out of the way. Gotta stock up on coffee while I can. Try again some other time. The early bird gets the worm, you know. My latest piece will be performed by the Shinryu Symphony Orchestra soon. You should give it a listen. Maybe you can tell my brother about it. I think you see him more than me. Well, I suppose this is the luxury of platinum membership. Huzzah. I don't make much money nowadays, but I saved a pretty penny over the years. I've got to think about my retirement. Why would you do that to an old woman like me? You're lucky I'm a sturdy farm girl at heart. Free coffee! Can you believe it? They really swing for the fences here at Accelerated Dynamics. Back at Shinryu Fish Concern, I bring my own coffee in a thermos. I can't even have any of the coffee. This is absurd. Can't have the coffee or the donuts. This place sucks. I'm out of here. That looks neat. Let 
I'm getting the feeling we're not supposed to be here. EA, oh god. <laughs> Anywhere but there. That's exactly how I imagined it. What does Jimmy think about this? Jimmy's scared. We're in hell. Why did I skip that? I want to see what enemies are here. Prototype and the yes man again. He's back. This is fine. Trigger warning later? Okay. Trigger warning for anyone to whom it may concern. Now? Okay. Oh, I, I see why. Maybe. I think I do. Yep. Good God. Hmm. Bird. What Jimmy thinks of work, and you know, I was right there with him as a kid. I, I feel that. Oh! Oh, this is a nightmare. Yeah, dude, I don't I don't think I could ever work the kind of job where I'm like in a cubicle. I I would not be able to live like that. I didn't mean to do the fu Hello? Corporate drone and secretary. Alright, you know what? I am glad I did this fight. You, you just stole my MP! You piece of garbage. I worked hard for that. Oh, we're going to see Mr. Grouse. Oh my god. Ah. The sound design in this game is incredible, but please stop. Oh, I hate it. Very bad ASMR. Turn it off. Jimmy? What are you doing up here? Platinum member luncheon is downstairs. Well, you're here now. Suppose you've seen the X5 mobile suppression unit. Are you surprised? Accelerated Dynamics is more than just banking. We've diversified into all sorts of enterprises, including military-grade weaponry. Jimmy, 
Why are you looking at me like that? I used to dream of the first bank of grouse growing and growing. Well, my dream has evolved. We all evolved, Jimmy. It's what people do. The bank wasn't important at all. What matters is money. You see, money buys things, Jimmy. You don't just use it to buy your favorite snacks, you know. Money buys property, it buys influence, it buys power, it buys respect. Sometimes, it buys people, too. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Just a child, after all. You don't know what it means to be an adult. But of course, none of that matters right now. I'm afraid I can't let you leave, Jimmy. See, the X5 mobile suppression unit is still a prototype. Can't have that information leaking out to my competitors. In a situation like these, you have to weigh the pros and cons. Will killing you weigh on my conscience? Yes, briefly. But if that information gets out, I could lose millions. It's a simple cost-benefit analysis. Please understand. 100. 100. I see. I was just waiting for Mr. Grouse to get robocopped by his own creation. Okay. Alright, let's go over to Blob. I'm worried about the what the 100 is, but we're gonna we're just gonna leave that for now. His personal computer. Let's poison his personal computer. Why not? Do a rejuvenate. Do a. And let's toxicosis Mr. Grouse himself, just in case. Can we steal from the computer? Can we steal from Mr. Grouse? No? Okay. Why don't you just undulate then? Taxed. Oh my god, it's using so much MP. Hundred fifteen. Is that how much MP is being taxed? Oh my god. That sucks. Gross, I hate you. It, it, it costs sixty. Oh my god. I didn't even see. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can't switch over to someone who does physical now. I can't afford to enjoy a sunny day in this economy. That's insane. Okay. 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 God, do I take out him or his computer first? Let's go over his computer. Oh my god. You know, Andrew can afford this, though. Let's have Lars counter stance. Okay, nothing is happening with that computer. The computer is not going down. Never mind. Oh wait, damaging it made the interest go down, I think? Okay, let's just go for Mr. Grouse. That didn't make it go down very much. Let's 
Let's go for Mr. Grouse and see how well that goes for us. Okay, we're no longer taxed, so... Okay, now we're back. We're back. I see what we're playing at. I see what we're doing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta take this opportunity to just go ham. We're not actually hurt. Oh, she just hit him. Did I use... Yeah, Toxic Sludge. Hit him. Black Spiral. Pulverizing Light. Invests in the future. Why don't we switch to switch to pumpkin? That nice magic damage. Let's go to the computer because the poison's making it go down. Not making it go down very much. Ah! Number's getting bigger and I don't know how to make it smaller. Let's just focus on grouse at this point. That might be a mistake, but we'll see. Something bad's gonna happen when that gets to 999. I just know it. Fine, we got this. Maybe we don't. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. Spend some of his power. Oh, God. know what the numbers do. Give that another shot. Let's see, I think we start as... 
figured it was something like that. We start as blob. And maybe we just stay as blob. We gotta keep poison and toxicosis on the computer to make it constantly stay down. That was pretty close, so it's definitely doable. Okay, let's. I forgot to heal up Andrew. God damn it. and get those numbers low immediately. Alright, let's switch over to Pumpkin. We'll just go crazy with Combust. Anyone who doesn't need to do anything will just do an attack on the computer. Keep the computer low. Dude, I'm just going to fight the housing market with my bare hands. Stop! doing that. He would if matches didn't just cost so much right now. We just gotta focus on this computer. This is gonna be a war of attrition. But with crits like that, we're fine. <laughs> Get fucked, Grouse. Keep the numbers low. We've got this.
keep it at zero. This is fine. We've got this. Jimmy's gonna solo Mr. Grouse. without his money. Your money's not going to save you from having acid thrown in your face. I'm just saying. Keep it low. He didn't, he didn't do, he, he didn't get up to 999 when he did it last time. Unless that wasn't his big attack, which is terrifying. Memento Mori, motherfucker. Your money meant nothing. Oh, nice. $9,000. He has more on him. I, I, I know he did. We're just taking a fraction of it. supposed to learn some kind of lesson I'll just take the financial hit and keep going let me teach you a lesson instead you don't know what it's like to be a small man I'm a literal I'm a literal child when you're a small man you spend each and every day alone with your small thoughts you think I should be living in a better house and that's it it's just a thought Money can make a small man into a big man. You think, I should live in a better house, and then you buy it. 
You think, this is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. How did I get here? The thought becomes reality. That's what money can do. As a small man becomes bigger and bigger, his thoughts become big thoughts, and he needs more money to make them real. People would respect me if this building were named after me. People would remember me if this monument lasted long after I died. The government would construct policies that favored my businesses if I donated to the right politicians. Don't you see, Jimmy? Money can help you shape the world in your image. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Just a child, after all. You haven't had the time to live as a small man. Come here before you leave. It's life insurance. Neat. From our insurance division. We'll allow you to retain all of your money if you lose a fight. You need to protect your assets, Jimmy. You want to amount to anything. Well, that made beating you up completely worth it. Why do you continue to talk to me? Nothing will change. Go, live in the happy world of children. You don't belong here. This place is for adults. Oh yeah, I see that hallway back there. I'm going for it. I just gotta shake him real quick. I suppose you've earned the right to do that. Enjoy it while you can. Power anchored in physical strength is fleeting. Oh, it's beautiful. By beautiful, I mean instead of gold, it's just piss yellow. Quite the choice. Molecular beam. Hyperdrive unit. Sounds like an Andrew thing. The molecular beam. 600 magical damage. And there's no cooldown? Oh my god. Y yeah. 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 Please. What was the other thing? Hyperdrive unit. It's all in a robot to see it run around all crazy and stuff. Oh, it makes it... Makes your agility real good. Yeah, I want that on Helga. Well, that was definitely worth doing right away. Because now I am too good for the bank. I don't need it. Well, I, have to, I guess I have to put that in my clubhouse first. Yeah, that, that manual for Andrew, so good. Oh, right, the second floor. Can, can, we, can we get this out of here? I don't want this in here anymore. Let's replace this. Mid-sized today, when did I get this? I just have a car. Uh... Oh wait, is the life insurance just something I have now? Oh, it's just something I have. Oh! Neat. Oh, this is so good. Alright. Skyscraper. Yes. stealing from enough monsters, so I have like none of the monster stuff. Happiness sphere. Oh wait, that was supposed to be downstairs. No. Ah well. Put something else down there.
It's all filled out now. Jimmy doesn't have any completed sets. Dang. I guess maybe that's something I should look into at some point. Making sure I put down all the completed sets of one thing, at the very least. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and stock up on items. That's not... no. You're not who I want to talk to. None of those. Five more of those. Two of those. And we're good. Alright, let's check out this little island down here. No. 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 <laughs> I just got like a genuine chill down my spine. The only other time that happened was when I was in Jonathan's like television set. I don't want to be here. This is bad. I light this on fire. No. good everything is good everything is good and fine and good there's nothing here never mind In information guys just going for a little swim He's, he had a rough day, he's just relaxing, floating down the river, he's fine. He hunts for sport, it's all good. He's... He's, uh, he's healing this wounded animal. We're just gonna, uh... It, um... 120? <laughs> I really want to see this in use, but maybe now is not the time. Oh my god, though. I got I got to see what it looks like. not okay information guy mutter some useless fact there we get we gave him some crayons and he's just going to take a little nap He's gonna he's he's gonna be fine. He's okay. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Oh 
Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. We don't we don't need the money as much anymore, and we'll get plenty. We'll save on soda if we use that. Hmm. Hey, buddy. I think maybe I just go to pumpkin and stick with that for the moment. Make this fight go a lot easier. He's fine. He's just gonna rest in the dirt for a little bit. He's all good. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Uh, I'm gonna... Nah, I'll just, I'll just stick with pumpkin for the moment. This is good. This is fine. It's all good. Everything is as it should be. Crits like that, we're going to be just fine. He's just, he's just popping up everywhere. Just so eager to say hi. Just such a loving soul. Just ah, the information pit. I think we'll leave them be. They're they're having a they're they're having a private conversation. It would be rude to interrupt. I could learn so much in there, but you know, I I just feel out of place. I don't I don't want to be rude and interrupt their private gathering. Oh look, Info Guy is here to show me around. How nice of him. gonna go back into his bed right there and he's just gonna sleep a bit he's fine 
Oh, I did. I saved right outside. Yeah, I've, I've learned to just save constantly. Like, every time I go into a new room. Anytime it feels like I'm about to run into something. Information guy, it's not Halloween anymore. You should put your decorations away. The information totem. gonna learn today apparently this is fine this is all good well maybe not yet maybe we save that good thing I'm not doing a physical build I'm sure it'll work. Oh, never mind. Very bad thing that I'm not doing a physical build. <laughs> I mean, he can't do that every time, right? We'll be fine. Gotta do it once. His eyes are glowing. Hoping for a crit there, but that's fine. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and give yourself more MP. Oh, wait, can we steal? Nothing to steal. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was about to happen. Oh my god, that's so many more. Well, I'm glad I prepared this then. Let's go ahead and mana burn. Get rejuvenate up. Andrew, you also go ahead and just focus. Thermal bomb. Lars is going to. Andrew, one of these.
Easy. Magic countered immediately last time, which makes me think you're going to do it again. So maybe instead I'll just take this turn to get some MP back. Nope, you didn't. Alright, that, that works. That's still good. Now, now this is this is perfectly fine. This is all good. Everything is good. Never mind, I don't have thermal bomb. Everything's bad. Everything's bad. Uh Lars, you're about to have the time of your life, buddy. Uh <laughs> go ahead and counter and pray. Easy. We're about to destroy them. Nope, nope, we're about to die. We're about we're about to die. We're going to die is what's about to happen. <laughs> My god! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, that was insane! Oh my god! Holy shit! That was worth it just for that. Oh my god. It's fine. Oh my god. That was worth it. Completely worth it. I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> oh my god. I crit myself so many times. Like, right, information was gathered. Oh, it's absolutely doable. It's absolutely doable. I almost won. If it weren't for the Reflect, I would have had it in the bag. The Reflect is literally the only thing I need to worry about. Everything else is perfectly fine. This time I just won't wait around to uh, do the focus and everything. I'll just go right into it. We'll get some massive damage here. We've already got him like quarter way down. We're just fine. Bye. 
Dude, combust is amazing. It's such a good move. Perfect. I, I just, yeah, I just need Andrew to crit. I want to see it happen. All right, here's how we play this safe from this point. Andrew's just going to guard. Because unless, let's see. Yeah, he's just going to guard. Because then only Jimmy will go down. We gotta play this safe. Jimmy can solo these things. He's fine. Go ahead and use a sunny day, why not? Nah, we, we, we play it safe. We're so close, no need for overkill anymore. We're fine. What did I say? Jimmy's got this. Easy. Just had to be aggressive. Information guy's soul is free. Encyclopedia set. Sounds like an Andrew thing. Att oh my god. Hmm. An interesting development. So if I were to take that and then give him this that would do, like, massive damage, right? And then he would still have decent magic attack. He would just have this move that does a shit ton of damage. But I don't know if that's worth it. It'd just do pretty okay. Alright. I mean, if we get into a fight where we need, like, physical attackers and no magic then then we have the item for it but I think right now his loadout is fine but I could see that being extremely useful in certain fights where we like absolutely need a physical attacker scare attack
that a thing for nobody that I have? Hey, where do I see my manuals? Manuals, there we go. Start all three turn cooldown. Punch only. Oh. Wait a minute, but we can only get here. We could only get here when we had the airship. That means Punch is alive. He has to be. Minus three MP regen. Magic attack plus 25%. All right, hold on. If I put that on Jimmy. <laughs> oh, God. Hell of a number that is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm I'm down to take that. Bring nine and defense. Ooh. I could go up to four eighty nine and get a slight defense boost. Or get the big damage number. I think I get the big damage number. I think that's absolutely worth it. We are we are never going physical Jimmy ever at this point. It's never going to happen. Oh. Oh, everything is fine now. Welcome to Information Village. It's me, Information Guy. Of course, there are lots of Information Guys, and I'm just one of them. You see, Information Guys aren't people at all. We're actually a species of short-tailed monkeys. We've evolved to each memorize a passage of human language. Why? So we can distract people and steal their bananas. Would you like me to repeat that? No, he stole my bananas! I must have had one in my inventory and I just don't now because he stole them. I can't believe that. I trusted him. This is where we use forgotten videotapes to learn piecemeal English. Sometimes the facts we learn are useful, but most of the time they are not. Oh, here's something. Do you have advanced calculus? It's a weapon for Andrew with mysterious properties. We'll consider those properties mysterious no longer. First, you have to subtract Andrew's current HP from his max HP. Final digit of the solution affects a hidden modifier for Andrew's physical hits. Basically, the higher the final digit, the more damage you'll do. Of course, it also happens to end in a 7. Well, lucky numbers make good things happen. Would you like me to repeat that? No. I can't believe that information guy is not just one person. That is mind-blowing to me. I'm the oldest in living information guy. I'm 23 years young. <laughs> you might think that this makes me the elder of the village, but I'm just like everyone else. You see, information guys sure do talk a lot, but they never listen to anyone. Even me! Of course, even if they did listen, it's not like they can understand me. We do just sort of repeat things. Why, the words I'm saying now are complete nonsense to me. I've been saying them for years. Life is funny like that. Something else that makes no sense to me. Did you know there are secret furniture sets? Try to pair up similar things. For instance, maybe if you had a bunch of lamps, your room would brighten up. But you want to know about all the other secret sets too. 
but I don't know anything about them. If I had to guess, though, I'd say there are probably 10 of them. So he's been saying that he's 23 years old for his entire life. That could just be a lie. I, I can't trust a single thing they say. I feel... I don't know how to feel in this moment. I don't understand how these information guys have formed a society. Maybe they were just around people long enough that they can mimic them. Well, no matter how you look at it, this is the most annoying place on Earth. The information guys just won't stop repeating the same stuff over and over. I'm happy my journey's taken me to all sorts of places, but I kind of wish I would have skipped this one. I still sent my mom a postcard. Not that she ever writes back. I wonder how everyone's doing in Smile. Oh. Oh. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? If you're feeling down about something, you can talk to me about it. That's what friends do. You're being unusually quiet, man. But hey, if you're dealing with something, then you've got to get through it. I don't want to get in your way, but I'm here if you need me. Yeah, every, everything's good. You, you just keep going on your adventure, Timothy Mouse. Everything's fine. Hey, information guy! Information guy is too busy eating a banana to acknowledge you. No, oh, information guy. They have one of these here? This is the town dump. We store all oh, that explains why it's in here. We store our garbage here so we don't stick up the forest. I don't mind living here because I don't have a nose. What? I mean, he, he doesn't. I don't see one. Bag filled with heavy things. First edition. Plastic. Priceless comic wrapped in mylar and cased in thick plastic. It's the life story of a famous writer mostly just complaining. I've seen that one before. Overalls could be good. We'll just have to save up for them, though. I do want a couple of these. My journey has taken me to many strange places, but this is probably the strangest. Nobody wants to buy my merchandise. Maybe I should start selling bananas. So you just you just say this. You don't know what it means, you just say it. Interesting. The information guys are a fascinating bunch, don't you think? Despite their limited intelligence, they formed a type of pseudo-culture through mimicry and random chance. They're quite protective of their bananas, though. Sometimes it was a struggle to get sustenance. Anyway, now that it's safe outside, I suppose I'll return to Sacred Lantern and share my findings. That's the last number guy, right? A little information man. He's learning so fast. My precious baby has learned his first words. I've never been prouder as a mother. Well, of course, I don't have the capacity to feel pride or any other human emotion. At least not self-consciously. Also, my son is just one out of a litter of about a dozen. He's just the only one who's still alive. <laughs> Information guys sure do die a lot, so we need to have a lot of babies to compensate. So you've just been saying that your whole life? That exact sentence? It's neat that it applied to this exact moment. My job is to travel around the world and find all the bodies of deceased information guys. Did you notice that information guy's bodies disappear after a while? Well, that's all me. I'm quite good at my job. Honestly, it's been hard lately with the information guys not staying buried for long. Maybe that's my fault for finding the creepy totem. You know the one. The one with the green eyes that stare directly into your soul? Well, I don't really have the cognitive abilities to determine what's safe from unsafe, so you can't blame me. I'm just an information guy, after all. Nope, that sounds bad. We won't go that way. Unless... Because it wouldn't be bad anymore. We broke the totem. Maybe now it's just a normal- Nope, it's still bad. Still bad. Still bad. Still bad. Still bad. 
No. Run. Get out of here. This is a lovely place. I can't wait to never return. Alright, I want to find Numberland. That's not it. Here we go. I'm going to go here first. I think that was the last of the numbers. Maybe something happens here now. Can't, can't park. Can't. Okay. Oh? Okay, that's another thing to check out in a second. This is the... Wait, we haven't been in here, have we? Oh no, we haven't. I, I see that mirror. All the knowledge of the world. Is having access to such a thing inherently moral? What would happen if an immoral person used lethal knowledge? In an era where one book read by one person could be the first domino in a chain that ends with the destruction of the world, would it be the moral... Would it be moral to restrict access to some knowledge? Who should have that authority? This really is a bore. In situations like these, I like to sit near the back and draw pictures when no one's looking. Wisdom is earned one moment at a time. I am old, but there are times when a child is wiser than me. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way of things. Interesting history with this temple. Our ancient ancestors built it on what they believed to be an intersection of dimensions. The temple was supposed to exist both in this dimension and in secret. In dimension. Now, this is of course all your typical ancient civilization sky worship and karmic energy mumbo jumbo, but it's fascinating to study. As we learn, every thought casts a shadow. What is, what will be, and actions lead to thought. Thought leads to action. Actions form the world. Which thoughts do we act on, and which do we let flounder in that sea of shadows? I want to see what's in this mirror. Ah. Door. Yes, I'm sure this is fine. No, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure this is okay. Nothing even here. Just go into the goop for a second. I can't lose my money anymore, so there's no risk of, like, losing anything when dying. I don't mind exploring a bit. But let's see what this is all about. We've got Merc, Slithery D, and just Realistic Shark. Neat. Let's just see how much damage we do.
we'll just take a little jaunt through the green dimension. Follower. Working itself into a frenzy, chanting in a strange language. Big hit. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I'm I'm at no risk of anything. Piranha swarm. A lot of fish. Fights are nothing. Jimmy's too strong. This is neat. Very cool. Just gonna walk on by that. I would, in fact, say that it is pretty radical. Pretty gnarly. Could even be considered tubular, if I were to be so bold. Fully leveled pumpkin? That's a fully leveled pumpkin. Nice. Still just gonna stay on pumpkin so I can. Well, actually, you know, let's, let's put on a different form. Let's put on blob. So I, did, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Blob, if I... Blob gets resilient body at 25, meaning Jimmy's form would get a 50% defense boost. I'll take that. Oh, so yeah, I forgot to check. What was it again? I remember I'd seen it before. Can't be healed, weak to hold. Oh. But immune to physical. That could be useful in certain situations. Also, this is neat. It 
We just are we are we just watching? Just watching them take a stroll. That's pretty cool. Not supposed to be in here. That's what it felt like. Yeah, vamp vampire has black fountain. Fire is doing pretty incredible. In fact, actually, you know what? I should level up. Actually, I should level up Blob. That's what I wanted to do. Wait, so was I supposed to? Hmm. supposed to do something in here? What am I supposed to do? Secret path. Is this room just nothing or am I missing something? It feels like I'm missing something. Also, I should heal Lars before I forget. Somewhere else to go? Okay. summon more things.
Oh, something changed here. I see. Lars is just tanking it like a champ. I love this realistic shark. It's kind of adorable. In a weird, menacing way. He's fine. He, he, he's all good. Ours is built for this. Oh, I see. Okay. Maybe we just run from bikes until we get to that next part. Just to save some MP.
the walls are the, the walls are fine. The walls are good. We didn't take them out in one round? That's insane. Oh, and you're just gonna bring in more? That's not okay. Hello, friend. Beware. There are secrets in the mud. Secrets buried deep. The ritual must not be complete. Beware. Only death awaits you there. Soon you'll be with us. Waiting, always waiting. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, I'm gonna go back to goon mode. are just like that. Part of the decor. Information guy. What are you doing here? In this underwater hellscape. Well, Jimmy, what the heck are you doing all the way down here? It's super spooky, like, all the time. I know because I live here. I know, I know. I should move. Or, I know, I know. I should move, but the rent is dirt cheap. Now might be a good time to tell you that you can save at any time in the menu. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have told you that a long time ago. Ah, well. That's nah, all good. Thanks for the info, info guy. Appreciate you. Interloper, the stench of your dimension is unmistakable. Did you hope to stop the ritual? Did you hope to slow our ascension? No, our time is now. The doomsday clock is ticking nearer to thirteen o'clock. Soon it will be the end of all worlds, even yours, Interloper. Try to stop us if you must, or raise your hands in a hymn to the forgotten gods. It doesn't matter. 
like the fate of all things. Your fate was written in the Book of the Damned. Whisper your final pleas to your dead god. The end of everything begins now. Oh my god, the art here looks fantastic. Doomsday Clock and Black Prophet. Alright, well let's just see how much damage we can do. Let's just go all in. What's your gimmick? Doomsday clock ticks towards the end of existence. Doomsday clock is gonna do for me or to me. Can I steal? I can steal time. I think we've got this. Oh, the hands are moving. I see, I see, I see, I see. So if it gets to the end, we're probably just dead. If I had to guess. Master coming well used. Oh shit. We gotta keep that time down. So it keeps moving forward, but if you steal, you get a free turn. You can only do it this many times. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a sunny day. I think we need it. If I had more of those big ones, I think I'd be in a much better spot. Oh, there goes Lars. Okay. That's fine. Alright, no more time to steal. No more MP. Let's try and get Lars up if we can.
Things aren't things aren't looking great. See why y'all were saying maybe don't do this one yet. So I assume once it gets to 13, I'm just dead. This is very much a, a DPS check. That... What? That's the first time it's just been game over. That hasn't happened before. Jimmy just like actually died. Well, I think I'm going to come back here later. I'll just have to remember that that's there. Well, where do I want to go next? I want to heal, for one. heal and I want to buy more stuff. We don't lose MP in fights or golden. I just need to have that stuff prepped like all the time. 
Alright, which thing do I want to check out next? That looks interesting. This looks interesting. I'll check out this. We'll see what's left of this. That alien said there was an entity still on the Iron Flamingo. Primary power systems offline. Secondary power systems 10%. Security systems online. Mainframe on standby. Rerouting power to mainframe. Multiplier and Slithery D, you're here again. Oh my god! What did all that damage? That was insane. Eighteen percent. Growing. changed. Yeah, stuff has changed. These things are here too. Oh my god. I thought I was done with you. Information guy has been soaking in there maybe a little too long, but I, I'm not one to judge. I was hoping they were going to show up so that I could give that a shot. Can't go back down there. 
This was a waste of time. There you are. Boss today were pretty cool, except that last one. DPS checks are not fun. Yeah. I mean, I do, I do like the concept for the boss at the very least. I'm just not ready for it yet. Oh, gammy. Running power to mainframe. Right, you know what? Oh my god, it's already like past 11. I, I didn't even realize that I've been streaming for like 7 hours at this point. It's about to be 7. Feels like it's only been a few. Oh my god, time flies when you're having fun. Alright, I think I should probably call it there for the night. But yeah. This is a, a very fun stream. A lot happened. It was very enjoyable. Uh, thank you for anyone who joined. I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I enjoyed playing this. Uh, I will see you next time, which will be... I'm not entirely sure when. Uh, I might have time tomorrow to do a stream. Uh, we'll see. Probably not... Wednesday so at the latest Thursday will be the next time that I stream oh let's see yeah so either tomorrow or Thursday will be the next time I see y'all so I'm gonna head out uh, you all have a good evening and I will see you later goodbye Thank you.